Mahabharata retold by C. Rajagopalakari, edited by J. Mazo, International Data Society, Contents, 39. The wicked are never satisfied. 1. Ganapati, the scribe, 40. Duryodhana disgraced, 2. Devavrata, 41. Shri Krishna's hunger, 3. Bhishma's vow, 42. The enchanted pool, 4. Ambin Bhishma, 43. Domestic service, 5. Devayani and Kacha, 44. Virtue vindicated, 6. The marriage of Devayani, 45. Mats you defended, 7. Yayati, 46. Prince Sothara, 8. Vidura, 47. Promise fulfilled, 9. County Devi, 48. Virata's delusion, 10. Death of Bandu, 49. Taking Council, 11. Bhima, 50. Arjuna's Shriotir, 12. Karna, 51. Salyu against his nephews, 13. Drona, 52. Vritra, 14. The Wax Palace, 53. Nahusha, 15. The Escape of the Pandavas, 54. Sonjaya's Mission, 16. The Slaying of Bakasura, 55. Not a Needle Point of Territory, 17. Draupada Swayamvaram, 56. Krishna's Mission, 18. Indraprastha, 57. Attachment and Duty, 19. The Saranga Birds, 58. The Pandava Generalissimo, 20. Jarazanta, 59. Balarama, 21. The Slaying of Jarazanta, 60. Rukmini, 22. The First Honor, 61. Non Cooperation, 23. Sakuni Comes In, 62. Krishna Teaches, 24. The Invitation, 63. Yudhishthira seeks benediction. 25. The Wager. 64. The First Day's Battle. 26. Draupada's Grief. 65. The Second Day. 27. Dhritastra's Anxiety. 66. The Third Day's Battle. 28. Krishna's Vow. 67. The Fourth Day. 29. Basupata. 68. The Fifth Day. 30. Affliction is nothing new. 69. The sixth day. 31. Agastya. 70. The seventh day. 32. Rishyastranga. 71. The eighth day. 33. Fruitless penance. 72. The ninth day. 34. Yavrakta does end. 73. The passing of Bhishma. 35. Mere learning is not enough. 74. Karna and the Grand Sire. 36. Ashtavara. 75. Drona in Command. 37. Bhiman Hanuman. 76. To see Yudhishthira alive. 38. I am no crane. 77. The Twelfth Day. 78. Brave Bhagadatta. 79. Apimanyu. 80. The Death of Apimanyu. 81. A Father's Grief. 82. The Sintu King. 83. Borrowed Armour. 84. Yudhishthira's Misgivings. 85. Yudhishthira's Font Hope. 86. Karna and Bhima. 87. Pledge Respected. 88. Somadatta's End. 89. Jai Ardhatha Slain. 90. Drona Passes Away. 91. The Death of Karna. 92. Duryodhana. 93. The Pandavas Reproached. 94. Aswatthama. 95. Avenged. 96. Who Can Give Solace? 97. Yudhishthira's Anguish. 98. Yudhishthira Comforted. 99. Envy. 100. Yutanga. 101. A Pound of Flower. 102. Yudhishthira Rules. 103. Dhritashtra. 104. The Passing Away of the Three. 105. Krishna Passes Away. 106. Yudhishthira's Final Trial. Author's Preface.
closely related to life. So long as the human family is divided into nations, it is not an exaggeration to say that the literature cannot escape the effects of such persons and incidents portrayed in the division. Great literature of a people influence but the highest literature transcends. National character no less potently than regionalism and through it, when we are the actual heroes and events enshrined in proper legend, we realize the essential its history. It may be claimed that the oneness of the human family, the former play an even more important part Mahabharata is of this class. It belongs to in the formation of ideals, which give to the world and not only to India, to the character its symbols of growth. People of India, indeed, this epic has been in the moving history of our land, from an unfailing and perennial source of time immemorial great minds have been spiritual strength, learnt at the mothers formed and nourished and touched to me with reverence and love, it has heroic deeds by the Ramayana and the inspired great men to heroic deeds as well Mahabharata, in most Indian homes, has enabled the humble to face their trials children formerly learnt these immortal with fortitude and faith. Stories as they learned their mother tongue the Mahabharata was composed many, at the mother's knee, and the sweetness thousand years ago, but generations of in sorrows of Sita and Draupadi, the gifted reciters have added to Vyasa's heroic fortitude of Rama and Arjuna an original and great mass of material, all the loving fidelity of Lakshman and floating literature that was thought to be Hanuman became the stuff of their young worth preserving, historical, geographical, philosophy of life, legendary political, theological and the growing complexity of life has philosophical, of nearly thirty centuries, changed the simple pattern of early home found a place in it, life. Still, there are few in our land who do in those days, when there was no printing, not know the Ramayana and the interpolation in a recognized classic, Mahabharata. Though the stories come to seem to correspond to inclusion and leave them so embroidered with the Garish National Library, divested of these fancies of the Kalik Spam, devotional Christians, the Mahabharata is a noble meeting where an expert scholar and poem possessing in a supreme degree the singer tells a story to his audience, and the characteristics of a true epic, great in cinema as to retain but little of the dignity fateful movement, heroic characters and an approach to truth of Vyas or stately diction. Valmiki Vyasa's Mahabharata is one of the characters in the epic move with their noblest heritages. And it is my vitality of real life. It is difficult to find cherished belief that to hear it faithfully anywhere such vivid portraiture and so told is to love it and come under its ample canvas. Bishma, the perfect, elevating influence, it strengthens the soul night. The venerable Drona, the vain button drives home, as nothing else does, the chivalrous Karna. Duryodhana, whose vanity of ambition and the evil and futility perverse pride is redeemed by great of anger and hatred, courage and adversity, the high souled, the realities of life are idealized by genius bandavas with godlike strength as well as in given the form that makes drama, power of suffering, dread body, most, poetry or great prose, since literature is unfortunate of queens, Conti, the worthy, mother of heroes, and Hari, the devoted in their household and staff. There were wife and sad mother of the wicked sons of beautiful palaces and gardens and the Dritastra, these are some of the lives led were cultured and luxurious, immortal figures on the crowded, but there was trade in the cities, but the mass never confused, canvas, of the people were agriculturists. Then there is great Krishna himself, most besides this urban and rural life. There was energetic of men, whose divinity, a very highly cultured life and the seclusion scintillates through a cloud of very human of forest recesses, centered round ascetic characteristics, his high purposefulness teachers. These ashramas kept alive the pervades the whole epic. One can read, bright fires of learning and spiritual even a translation and feel the over, thought, young men of noble birth, whelming power of the incomparable eagerly sought education at these fastness and sublimity of the poem. Ashramas. World weary age went there. The Mahabharata discloses a rich for peace. 
These centers of culture were civilization and a highly evolved society, cherished by the rulers of the land and not which though of an older world. Strangely, the proudest of them would dare to treat resembles the India of our own time, with the members of the hermitages otherwise the same values and ideals. India was, them with respect and consideration, divided into a number of independent. Women were highly honored and entered kingdoms, largely in the lives of their husbands and occasionally one king, more sons. The caste system prevailed, but distinguished or ambitious than the rest, intercase marriages were not unknown. We'd assume the title of emperor, some of the greatest warriors in the securing the acquiescence of other Mahabharata were Brahmanas, the royalties and signalized it by a great Mahabharata has molded the character. Sacrificial feast. The adherence was, and civilization of one of the most, generally voluntary. The assumption of numerous of the world's people. Imperial title conferred no overlordship. How did it fulfill, how is it still continuing the emperor was only first among his, to fulfill, this function, by its gospel of peers, Dharma which like a golden thread runs the art of war was highly developed and through all the complex movements in the military prowess and skill were held in epic. By its lesson that hatred breeds high esteem. We read in the Mahabharata hatred, that covetousness and violence of standardized phalanxes and of various lead inevitably to ruin, that the only real tactical movements. There was an conquest is in the battle against one's accepted code of honorable warfare, lower nature. Deviations from which met with reproof one. Ganapati, the scribe, among Kshatriyas. The advent of the Kali Bhagavan Vyasa, the celebrated. Ages marked by many breaches of these compiler of the Vedas, was the son of the conventions in the Kurukshetra battle, on great sage Parasara. It was he who gave to account of the bitterness of conflict, the world the divine epic of the frustration and bereavements. Some of the Mahabharata. Most impressive passages in the epic, having conceived the Mahabharata, he sent around these breaches of Dharma, thought of the means of giving the sacred the population lived in cities and villages, story to the world. He meditated on the cities were the headquarters of Kings Brahma, the creator, who manifested himself before him. Vyasa saluted him known that the virtues and learned, with bowed head and folded hands and Vesampiana, one of the chief disciples prayed. Of Vyasa, reveal the epic for the benefit. Lord, I have conceived an excellent of humanity. Work, but cannot think of one who can. Jinamehaya, the son of the great king. Take it down to my dictation. Parikshit, conducted a great sacrifice and Brahma extolled Vyasa and said, O sage, the course of which Vesampiana. Invoke Ganapati and beg him to be narrated the story at the request of the Amanuensis. Having said these words, he former. Afterwards, this story, as told by, disappeared. The sage Vyasa meditated on Vesampiana, was recited by Sutta in the Ganapati who appeared before him. Vyasa Forest of Naimisa to an assembly of sages received him with due respect and sought under the lead of the Rishi Sonaka. His aid. Sutta addressed the assembly. I had thee. Lord Ganapati, I shall dictate the story of good fortune to hear the story of thee. The Mahabharata and I pray you to be. Mahabharata composed by Vyasa to teach graciously please to write it down. Humanity Dharma and the other ends of. Ganapati replied. Very well. I shall do as life. I should like to narrate it to you. At you wish. But my pen must not stop all these words the ascetics eagerly gathered I am writing. So you must dictate without round him, pause or hesitation. I can only write on Sutta continued. I heard the main story of this condition. The Mahabharata and the episodic tales Vyasa agreed, guarding himself, however, contained therein told by Vesampi and that with a counter stipulation. Be it so, but the sacrifice conducted by King. You must first grasp the meaning of what I Jinamehaya. Afterwards, I made an Dictate before you write it down. Extensive pilgrimage to various sacred Ganapati smiled and agreed to the places and also visited the battlefield condition. Then the sage began to sing the where the great battle described in the story of the Mahabharata. He would. Epic was fought. 
I have now come here to occasionally compose some complex. Meet you all. He then proceeded to tell stanzas which would make Ganaprati. The whole story of the Mahabharata in the pause a while to get at the meaning and grand assembly. Firasa would avail himself of this interval after the death of the great king Sandanu, to compose many stanzas in his mind. Kadrangada became king of Hastinapur thus the Mahabharata came to be written and he was succeeded by Vichitravirya. By Ganapati to the dictation of Vyasa, the latter had two sons, Dhritarashtra and it was before the days of printing, when Pandu, the elder of the two being born the memory of the learned was the soul blind, Pandu, the younger brother, repository of books. Vyasa first taught the ascended the throne, in the course of his great epic to his son, the sage Sukha. Later, Rain, Pandu committed a certain offence he expounded it to many other disciples and had to resort to the forest with his two were it not so, the book might have been wives where he spent many years in, lost to future generations. Penance. Tradition has it that Narada told the story during their stay in the forest, the two of the Mahabharata to the Devas while, wives of Bandu, Kunti and Madri gave, Sukha taught it to the Gandharvas, the birth to five sons who became well-known Rakshasas and the Akshas. It is well. As the five Pandavas, Pandu passed away, while they were still living in the forest. This is the substance of the story of the, the sages brought up the five Pandavas Mahabharata. In this ancient and, during their early years, wonderful epic overland there are many when Yudhishthira, the eldest, attained illustrative tales and sublime teachings. The age of sixteen the Rishis led them all besides the narrative of the fortunes of the back to Hastinapur and entrusted them to Pandavas. The old grants are Bhishma. In a short time the Mahabharata is in fact a veritable the Pandavas gain mastery over the ocean containing countless pearls and Vedas and the Vedanta as well as over the gems. It is, with Ramayana, a living various arts especially pertaining to the fountain of the ethics and culture of Urkshatriyas, the Kauravas, the sons of the motherland. Blind Dhritarashtra became jealous of the two, Devavrata, Pandavas and tried to injure them in. You must certainly become my wife, various ways, whoever you may be. Thus said the great finally Bhishma, the head of the family, King Santanu to the goddess Ganga who intervened to bring about mutual, stood before him in human form understanding and peace between them, intoxicating his senses with her. Accordingly the Pandavas and the superhuman loveliness, Kauravas began to rule separately from the king earnestly offered for her love his their respective capitals, in Riprasthan kingdom, his wealth, his all, his very life. Hastinapura. Ganga replied, O king, I shall become some time later. There was a game of dice your wife but on certain conditions that between the Kauravas and the Pandavas. Neither you nor anyone else should ever according to the then prevailing Kshatri ask me who I am, or whence I come. You code of honour. Sakuni, who played on, must also not stand in the way of, behalf of the Kauravas, defeated. Whatever I do, good or bad, nor must she Yudhishthira. As a result, the Pandavas ever be wroth with me on any account had to be in exile for a period of thirteen whatsoever. You must not say anything. Years. They left the kingdom and went to displeasing to me. If you act otherwise, I the forest with their devoted wife, shall leave you then and there. Do you drive body? Agree. According to the conditions of the game, the infatuated king vowed his assent, and the Pandava spent twelve years in the she became his wife and lived with him. For a stand the thirteenth year incognito, the heart of the king was captivated by when they returned and demanded of her modesty and grace and the steady love Juri had Hannah their paternal heritage, the she bore him, King Santanu and Ganga, latter, who had in the meanwhile usurped lived a life of perfect happiness, oblivious their kingdom, refused to return it, warn of the passage of time, followed as a consequence, she gave birth to many children, each, the Pandavas defeated Duryodhana and newborn babe she took to the Ganges and regained their patrimony. The Pandavas cast into the river and then returned to the rule of the kingdom for thirty-six years. King with a smiling face. Afterwards, they transferred the crown to Santanu was filled with horror and their grandson, 
paratic shit and repaired to anguish at such fiendish conduct. But the forest with dry body, all clad humbly, suffered it all in silence, mindful of the inbarks of trees. Promise B had made. Often he wondered who she was, where from she had come belongs to the sage Vasish the who is there and why she acted like a murderous witch. Master of the whole place, Manuel, still bound by his word, and his all certainly become immortal by drinking its mastering love for her, he uttered no word milk. But this is no gain to us, who are of blame or remonstrance, already immortal. Is it worth or while thus she killed seven children? When the incurring Vasishtha's wrath merely two, eighth child was born and she was about to satisfy a whim. To throw it into the Ganges, Santanu could but she was not thus to be put off. I have not bared it any longer. A dear companion in the mortal world. It is he cried. Stop, stop. Why are you bent on for her sake that I make this request? This horrid and unnatural murder of you before Vasishtha returns we shall have all innocent babes. With this outburst escaped with the cow. You must certainly the king restrained her. Do this for my sake, for it is my dearest. O oh, great king, she replied, you have wish. Finally her husband yielded. All forgotten your promise, for your heart is the vastest joined together and took the set on your child, and you do not need me cow and its calf away with them. Any more. I go. I shall not go this child, when Vasishtha returned to his ashrama. But listen to my story before you judge he missed the cow and the calf, because me, I, who am constrained to play this they were indispensable for his daily, hateful role by the curse of Vasishtha, am rituals, the goddess Ganga, adored of gods and, very soon he came to know by his yogic men, Vasishtha cursed the eight Vasas to incite all that had taken place, anger be born in the world of men, and moved seized him and he uttered a curse against by their supplication said, I was to be the Vasis, the sage, whose soul wealth their mother. I bore them to you, and well was his austerity, well that they should as it for you that it was so. For you will go be born into the world of men. When the Taha regions for this service you have Vasis came to know of the curse. Done to the eight Vasis. I shall bring up repentant too late. They threw themselves this last child of yours for some time and on the sage's mercy and implored. Then I turn it to you as my gift. Forgiveness. After saying these words the goddess, Vasishtha said, the curse must needs disappeared with the child. It was this take its course. Prabhasa, the Vasu who child who later became famous as, seize the cow, will live long in the world Bhishma. This was how the Vasis came, in all glory, but the others will be free to incur Vasishtha's curse. They went for you from the curse as soon as born. My words holiday with their wives to a mountain cannot prove ineffective but I shall soften track where stood the hermitage of the curse to this extent. Vasishtha, one of them saw Vasishtha's afterwards, Vasishtha set his mind again cow, Nandini, grazing there. On his austerities, the effect of which had its divinely beautiful form attracted him been slightly impaired by his anger. Sages and he pointed it out to the ladies. They who perform austerities acquired the power were all loud in praise of the graceful to curse. But every exercise of this poor animal, and one of them requested her reduces their store of merit. Husband to secure it for her. The Vasis felt relieved and approached he replied, What need of we? They the goddess ganged and begged of her. Divas, for the milk of cows. This cow, we pray you to become her mother. For our sake we beseech you to descend to the boon that a divine perfume should. Earth and marry worthy man. Throw us emanate from her. And this was now, into the water as soon as we are born and pervading the whole forest. Liberate us from the curse. The goddess from the moment the goddess Ganga left granted their prayer, came to the earth and him, the king had kept his senses under became the wife of Sandanu. Control, but the sight of this divinely when the goddess Ganga left Sandanu and beautiful maiden burst the bonds of, disappeared with the eighth child, the king restrained and filled him with an gave up all sense ye will pleasures and ruled the overmastering desire. He asked her to be kingdom in a spirit of asceticism. One day his wife, he was wandering along the banks of the the maiden said, I am a fisherwoman, Ganges when he saw a boy endowed with the daughter of the chief of the fishermen. The beauty and form of Devendra, the king may it please you to ask him and get his of the gods. Consent. 
her voice was sweet as her the child was amusing himself by casting form. A dam of arrows across the Ganges and the father was an astute man. Flood, playing with the mighty river as all he said, O king, there is no doubt that child with an indulgent mother. Too, that this maiden, like every other, has to be king who stood transfixed with. Married to someone in you indeed. Amazement at the sight, the goddess, worthy of her. Still you have to make a ganga revealed herself and presented the promise to me before you can have her. Child as his own son. Sandani replied, If it is a just promise I she said, O king, this is that eighth child shall make it. I bore you. I have brought him up till now. The chief of the fisher folk said, The child whose name is Devavrata. He has mastered born if this maiden should be the king the art of arms and equals Parasurama in after you. Prowess. He has learnt the Vedas and though almost mad with passion, the king Vedanta from Vasishtha, and as well, could not make this promise, as it meant first in the arts and sciences known to setting aside the godlike Devavrata, the Sukra. Take back with you this child the son of Ganga, who was entitled to thee, as a great archer and hero as well as a crown, master in statecraft. It was a price that could not be thought of then she blessed the boy, handed him to without shame. He therefore returned to his father, the king, and disappeared. His capital, Hastinapura, sick with baffled three. Bishmas V O W. Desire. He did not reveal the matter to W.I.T.H. Joy the king received to his heart anyone and languished in silence, and his kingdom, the resplendent and. One day Devavrata asked his father, my youthful prince Devavrata and crowned. Father, you have all that your heart could him as the Yuvaraja, the heir apparent. Wish. Why then are you so unhappy? How four years went by. One day as the king is it that you are like one pining away with was wandering on the banks of the a secret sorrow. Yamina, the air was suddenly filled with the king replied, Dear son, what you say is fragrant so divinely sweet that the king is true. I am indeed tortured with mental sought for its cause, and he traced it to pain and anxiety. You are my only son, maiden so lovely that she seemed a, and you are always preoccupied with. Goddess, a sage had conferred on her the military ambitions. Life in the world is uncertain and wars are incessant if seek to seize the kingdom by force. This is anything untoward befalls your family the doubt that torments me, will become extinct. Of course, you are when he heard this naughty question posed equal to a hundred sons. Still, those who by the girl's father, Devavrata, who was her well read in the scriptures say that in bent on fulfilling the king's desire, made this transitory world having but one son is his supreme renunciation. He vowed with the same as having no son at all. It is, not a praise arm to the father of the maiden, proper that the perpetuation of her family. I shall never marry and I dedicate myself should depends on a single life, and above to a life of unbroken chastity. All things I desire the perpetuation of our and as he uttered these words of, family. This is the cause of my anguish. Renunciation the gods showered flowers the father prevaricated, being ashamed to on his head, and cries of, Bishma reveal the whole story to his son. Bishma resounded in the air. The eyes of Evrata realized that there. Bishma means one who undertakes a must be a secret cause for the mental, terrible vow and fulfills it. That lame condition of his father and questioning became the celebrated epithet of. The king Shrayo dear came to know of his Devavrata from that time. Then the son of meeting with the fisher maiden on the gangle led the maiden Satyavati to his banks of the Yamuna. He went to the father, chief of the fishermen and besought his two sons were born of Satyavati to daughter's hand on his father's behalf. Santanu, Kadrangada and Vichitavirya, the fisherman was respectful, but firm, who ascended the throne one after thee. My daughter is indeed fit to be the king's other. Vichitavirya had two sons. Spouse. Then should not her son become Jijasjin Pandu, born king? But you have been crowned as the respectively of his two queens, Ambika your apparent and will naturally succeed in Ambika, your father. It is this that stands in thee the sons of Drijistra, a hundred in we. Number, were known as the Koravas. Devavrata replied, I give you my word Pandu had five sons who became famous, that the son born of this maiden shall be as the Pandavas. Bishma lived long, king, 
and I renounce in his favour my right honoured by all as the grand sire until he is heir apparent, and he took a vow to end off the famous battle of Karakshetra. That effect. The family tree. The chief of the fishermen said, O best of the Bharata race, you have done what no Sandanu. One else born of royal blood has you have. By Ganga. Done till now. You're indeed a hero. You, by Satyavati. Can yourself conduct my daughter to the Bhishma. King, your father. Still, hear with patience Kadrangada and Virtue Devirya. These words of mine which I say as they, by Ambika, by Ambika, father of the girl. I have no doubt you will keep your word, to Japandu. But how can I hope that the children born, if you will renounce their birthright, your sons will naturally be mighty heroes the Kauravas the Pandavas, like you, and will be hard to resist if they four. A.M.B. and Bhishma. Kadrangada, the son of Satyavati, but before he had gone far, Salva, he was killed in battle with Aganharva, as king of the Saubala country who was. He died childless, his brother, attached to Amba, intercepted and. Vichitravirya was the rightful heir and opposed him, for that princess had. Was duly crowned king, and as he was a mentally chosen Salva as her husband. Minor. Bishma governed the kingdom in after a bitter fight Salva was worsted, and his name till became of age. No wonder, as Bishma was a peerless. When Vichitravirya reached adolescent Spoman. But at the request of the. Bishma cast about for a bride for him. Princesses Bishma spared his life, and as he heard that the daughters of the arriving in Hastinapura with the king of Kasi were to choose their his band's princesses, Bishma made preparations, according to the ancient Kshatriya, for their marriage to Vichitravirya. When practice he went there to secure them for all were assembled for the marriage. His brother, Amba smiled mockingly at Bishma and the rulers of Kosala, Vanga, Pandra, addressed him as follows, O son of Kalinga and other princes and potentates Ganga, you are aware of what is enjoined had also repaired to Kasi for thee. In the scriptures, I have mentally chosen Swayamvara, attired in their best. The Salva, the king of Saubala, as my princesses were so far famed for beauty husband. You have brought me hereby, and accomplishments that there was fierce force. Knowing this, do what you learned competition to win them. In the scriptures, should do. Bhishma was famous among the. Bhishma admitted the force of her. Kshatriyas as a mighty man at arms. At objection and sent her to Salva with. First everyone thought that the redoubtable proper escort. The marriage of Ambika. Hero had come merely to witness the. And Ambika, the two younger sisters, festivities of the Swayamvara. But when with Richard Javiri he was duly solemnized. They found that he was also a suitor. The Amba went rejoicing to Salva and told. Young princes felt themselves let down him what had happened. I have mentally and were full of chagrin. They did not choose a new as my husband from the very know that he had really come for the sake start. Bishma has sent me to you. Marry of his brother, Vichya Traviria. Me according to the Sastras. The princes began to cast a front at. Salva replied. Bishma defeated me in Bishma. This most excellent and wise sight of all, and carried away. I have descendant of the Bharata race forgets that been disgraced. So, I cannot receive you he is too old and forgets also his vow of now as my wife. Return to him and do a celibacy. What has this old man to do with he commands? With these words sal with the Swayamvara, fee on him. The centre back to Bhishma. Princesses who were to choose there. She returned to Hastinapur and told. Husbands barely glanced at the old man Bhishma of what had taken place. The. And looked away. Grand Sire tried to induce Vichar Javiri to Bhishma's wrath flamed up. He. Marry her. But Vichar Javiri roundly. Challenged the assembled princes to a trial refused to marry a maiden whose heart. Of their manhood and defeated them all. Had already been given to another. And taking the three princesses in his amba then turned to Bhishma and she. Chari he set out for Hastinapura, sought him to marry her himself as there was no other recourse. It was impossible for Bhishma to break his vow, sorry is he happiness. There is now but one thing in was for Amma, and after some vain life for me, revenge on Bhishma. The only attempts to make Vichar Javiri change his boon I seek is the death of Bhishma. Mind, 
He told her there was no way left to Paris so Rama moved as much by her. Her but to go again to Salva and seek to anguish as by his abiding hatred of the persuade him. Kshatriyas espoused her cause in this at first she was too proud to do, and fought with Bhishma. It was a long and for long years she abode in Hastinapura. Equal combat between the two greatest. Finally, in sheer desperation, she went to men at arms of the age. But in the end Salvin found him adamant in refusal. Parasurama had to acknowledge defeat. The lotus-eyed Amba spent six bitter. He told Amba, I have done all that I years in sorrow and baffled hope. And her could and I have failed. Throw yourself heart was seared with suffering and all the on the mercy of Bhishma. That is the only sweetness in her turn to gall and fierce course left to you. Hatred towards Bhishma as the cause of consumed with grief and rage, and kept her blighted life. Alive only by the passion for revenge, she sought in vain for a champion among them but went to the Himalayas and the princes to fight and call Bhishma and practice rigorous austerities to get the thus avenge her wrongs but even the grace of Siva, now that all human aid had four most warriors were afraid of Bhishma failed her. Siva appeared before her and unpaid no heed to her appeal, granted her a boon, that in her next birth at last, she resorted to hard austerities till she would slay Bhishma. Get the grace of Lord Subramanya, he. Amba was impatient for the rebirth which graciously appeared before her and gave would give her heart's desire. She made a her a garland of ever fresh lotuses, sang pyre and plunged into the fire pouring out that the wearer of the garland would. The flame in her heart into the scarcely become the enemy of Bhishma. Hotter blaze of the pyre. Amba took the garland and again be. By the grace of Lord Siva, Amba was. Sought every Kshatriya to accept thee. Born as the daughter of King Drupada, a garland gift of the six-faced lord and a few years after her birth, she saw the champion her cause. But no one had the garland of never-fading flowers that still hard a hid to antagonize Bhishma. Hung at the palace gate and had remained finally, she went to King Drupada who, there untouched by anyone through fear, also refused to grant her prayer. She then she put it round her neck. Her father. Hung the garland at Drupada's palace gate Drupada was in consternation at her. And went away to the forest. Some. Temerity which he feared would draw an ascetics him she met there and to him his head the wrath of Bhishma. She told her sorrowful tale advised her to he sent his daughter in exile out of the go to Parasurama as a suppliant. She. Capital to the forest. She practiced. Followed their advice. Austerities in the forest and in time was on hearing her sad story. Parasurama was transformed into a male and became moved with compassion and said, Dear known as the warrior Sikhandan, Child, what do you want? I can ask Salvin with Sikhandan as his shy tear, Arjuna to marry you if you wish it. Attacked Bhishma on the battlefield of Amba said, No, I do not wish it. I know Karakshetra. Bhishma knew that. Longer desire marriage or home war. Sick Hansen was born as female, and true too. His code of chivalry he would not fight Sage Anjirus and the son of Brihash Bhati. I am under any circumstance. I'm a Brahmacher in seeking knowledge. So it was that Arjuna could fight screened under your tutelage. By Sick Hansen and conquer Bhishma. It was the law that the wise teacher should especially because Bhishma knew that his not refuse a worthy pupil who sought. Long and weary probation on earth was. Knowledge of him. So Sukra acceded and finished and consented to be vanquished. Said, Katja, you belong to a good as the arrows struck Bhishma in his last family. I accept you as my pupil, the more fight. He singled out those which had. Willingly, that by doing so I shall also be pierced him deepest and said, This is showing my respect for Brihash Bhati. Arjuna's arrow and not Sikandins. So Katja spent many years under. Fill this great warrior. Sukracharya, rendering to perfection the five. Devayani and Katcha. Prescribed duties in the household of his eye in ancient times, there was a bitter. Master. Sukracharya had a lovely daughter, struggle between the devas or gods and Devayani, of whom he was extremely. The asuras or demons for the lordship of Vund. Katcha devoted himself to pleasing the three worlds. Both belligerents had in serving her with song and dance and illustrious preceptors. Brihaspati who was pastime and succeeded in winning her. Preeminent in the knowledge of the affection, 
without detriment however to Vedas was the guiding spirit of the Devas, the vows of Brahmacharya, while the Asuras relied on Sukracharyas when the Asuras came to know of this profound wisdom. They became anxious as they suspected. The Asuras had the formidable advantage that Kak's object was somehow to that Sukracharya alone possessed the Weedle out of Sukracharya the secret of secret of Sanjeevini which could recall the Sanjeevini. They naturally sought to dead to life. Thus the Asuras who had prevent such a calamity fallen in the battle were brought back to one day as Kacha was engaged in life time and again and continued there grazing the cattle of his master the Asuras fight with the Devas. The Devas were thus seized him, tore him to pieces and cast his at a great disadvantage in their long flesh to the dogs. When the cattle returned drawn out war with their natural foes. Without Kacha, Devayani was filled with they went to Kacha, the son of anxiety, and ran to her father with loud Brihaspati, and besought his aid. They lamentations, the sun has set, she begged him to win his way into the good world, and your nightly fire sacrifice has graces of Sukracharya and persuade him been performed, still Kacha has not to take him as a pupil. Once admitted to return home, the cattle have come back into Missy and confidence, he was to by themselves. I fear some mishap has acquire, by fair means or foul, the secret befallen catcher. I cannot live without of San Givini and remove the great him handicap under which the Divas suffered. The fun father employed the art of Katja acceded to their request and set out San Givini and invoked the dead youth too to meet Sue Kriturya who lived in the appear. At once Katja came back to life capital city of Rishaparva, the king of the and greeted the master with smiles. Asked Asuras. Katja went to the house of Sukra, by Devayani the reason for his delay. He and after her due salutation, addressed him told her that as he was grazing the cattle thus, I am Katja, the grandson of thee the Asuras came suddenly on him and slew him. How he came back to life he knew he employed the Sanjeevini art and called not but come back to life he did, and upon Katcha to appear, by the power of, there he was. The Sanjeevini Katcha dispersed as he was in on another occasion Katcha went to the, the wine which was inside Sukracharya's forest to pluck flowers for Devayani, and Buddy at the time, regained life, but, again the Asura seized and killed him, prevented by the peculiarity of his, and pounding his body to a paste, mixed it location from coming out. He could only up in sea water, as he did not return even answer to his name from where he was. After a long time Devayani went as before Sukracharya exclaimed in angry to her father who brought Katcha back to amazement. O Brahmacharan, how did life by his son Jeevini, and heard from him ye get into me? Is this also the work of all that had taken place? The Asuras. This is really too bad and for the third time again. The Asuras killed makes me feel like killing the Asuras. Catch and very cleverly as they thought, immediately enjoining the Devas. But burnt his body, mixed the ashes and wine tell me the whole story. And served it to Sukrachar who drank it. Catch narrated it all, in spite of the suspecting nothing. Once more the cow's inconvenience imposed by his position. Returned home without their keeper, and some pay Anna continued. The high once again Devayani approached her. Sold an austere secretary of father with her distressful appeal for immeasurable greatness, became angry at Katja. The deceit practiced on him in his wine. Secretary tried in vain to console his and proclaimed for the benefit of daughter. Though I have again and again humanity, virtue will desert the man who brought back Katja to life, said he. The three lack of wisdom drinks wine. He is sort of seen bent upon killing him. Well, will be an object of scorn to all, this is death is the common lot, and it is not my message to humanity, which should be proper for a wise soul like you to sorrow regarded as an imperative scriptural. Edit. Your life is all before you to enjoy. Injunction. Then he turned to his daughter with youth and beauty and the goodwill of Devayani and said, Dear daughter, here is the world. A problem for you. For Katcha to live, he Devayani deeply loved Katcha and since must rend my stomach and come out of it. The world began, wise words of never and that means death to me. His life can cure the ache of bereavement. She said, only be bought by my death. Katja, 
the grandson of Angerus and the Divayani began to weep and said, Alas, son of Brihaspati, was a blameless boy, it is death to me either way. For if either who is devoted and tireless an hour, of you perish, I shall not survive. Service. I loved him dearly, and now that Sukracharya sought away out of thee, he has been killed, life to me has become difficulty. The real explanation of it all bleak and insupportable. I shall therefore flashed on him. Follow in his path. And Devayani began he said to Katya, O son of Brihaspati, I to fast. Sukracharya, heart stricken by his now see with what object you came and, daughter sorrow, became very angry. Verily you have secured it. I must bring with you Suras, and felt that the heinous you out to life for the sake of Devayani, sin of killing a Brahmana would we. But equally for her sake I must not die heavily on their fortunes. Either. The only way is to initiate you in the art of Sanjeevini so that you can bring me back to life after I shall have died. Devi Ani sought in vain to persuade him. When a way is torn out through me, you are the son of Brihaspati, said she, entrails for you. You should employ thee, and not of my father. If I have been the knowledge I am going to impart to you, cause of your coming back to life, it was and revived me, so that Devi Ani need not because I loved you as indeed I have. Grieve for either of us. Always loved you as my husband. It is not accordingly so creature you imparted the art fit that you should give up one like me of San Givini to catch a. Immediately catch a signless and devoted to you. Came forth from Sukratriya's body. Catch replied. Do not seek to persuade emerging like the full moon from a cloud. Me to unrighteousness. You are. While the great preceptor fell down. Enchanting more so now than ever. Mangled and dead. Flashed as you are with anger. But I am, but catch you at once brought Sukracharya, your brother. Pray bid me do. Serve back to life by means of his newly, unto perfection, ever and always, my, acquired Sanjeevini. Catch about down to master Sukracharya. Sukracharya said, the teacher who with these words catch you gently, imparts wisdom to the ignorant as a father, disengaged himself and proceeded to the besides as I have issued from your body a bold of Indra, the king of gods. You are my mother too. Sukratu you consoled his daughter. Catch you remain for many more years. 6. The marriage of Devi Ani. Under the tutelage of Sukracharya. When oh any warm afternoon, pleasantly tired. The period of his vow ended. He took leave with sporting in the woods Devi Ani and of his master to return to the world of the, the daughters of Rishaparva, king of the gods. Asuras went to bathe in the ghoul waters of as he was about to depart Devi Ani. A sylvan pool, depositing their garlands on humbly addressed him. Thus, oh, the bank before they entered its waters, grandchild of Angelus, you have won my strong breeze blew their clothes. Heart by your blameless life, you're great together into a huddled heap and win. Attainments and nobility of birth, I have they came to take them up again, some. Loved you long and tenderly even while mistakes naturally occurred. It's so. You are faithfully following your vows happened that Princess Sarmitha, the of the Brahmacharin. You should now, daughter of the king, clad herself in. Reciprocate my love and make me happy. Devi in his clothes. The latter was vexed by marrying me. Brihaspati as well as. And exclaimed half in jest at thee. Yourself are fully worthy of being honoured in propriety of the daughter of a disciple by me. Wearing the clothes of the masters. In those days, it was no uncommon thing, daughter. For wise and learned Brahman ladies to these words were spoken half in jest, but speak out their mind with honourable. The princess Sarmit that became very frankness. But Katya said, angry and said arrogantly, Do you not? O oh, faultless one, you are my masters know that your father humbly bows in. Daughter and ever worthy of my respect. I reverence to my royal father every day. Got back my life by being born out of your are you not the daughter of a beggar who father's body. Hence I am your brother. It lives on my father's bounty. You forget I is not proper for you, my sister, to ask me am of the royal race which proudly gives, to wed you. While ye come of a race which begs and receives, and you dare to speak thus to a Kshatriya maiden could marry a me. Brahmana, according to the ancient, Sarmish the went on, getting angrier in tradition. 
but it was considered wrong for angrier as she spoke ill, working herself a Brahman maiden to marry a Kshatriya. Up into a fit of anger, she finally slapped the important thing was to keep the racial divayani on the cheek and pushed her. Status of women and lord. Hence, into dry well. The Asura maidens. Anuloma or the practice of marrying men thought that Devayani had lost her life and of how her caste was legitimate and they returned to the palace. Reverse practice, known as Pratiloma, i.e. Devayani had not been killed by the fall marrying men of the lower caste, was into the well but was in a sad plight, prohibited by the Sastras. Because she could not climb up the steep Devayani had no men to return home. Sides. Emperor Yayati of the Bharata race she remained sunk in sorrow in the shade who was hunting in the forest by a happy of a tree in forest. Sukrachar you love chance came to this spot in search of Devayani more than his life. After waiting water to slake his thirst, when he glanced long in vain for the return of his daughter into the well, he saw something bright, who had gone to play with her. And looking closer, he was surprised to companions. He sent a woman in search of find a beautiful maiden lying in the well. Her. He asked, Who are you? Oh beautiful the messenger after a wee research came maiden with bright earrings and ruddy. On her at last near the tree where she was nails. Who is your father? What is your sitting in dejection? Her eyes red with ancestry. How did you fall into the well? Anger and grief. And she asked her what she replied. I am the daughter of had happened. Sukracharya. He does not know that I. Devayani said, Friend, go at once and tell have fallen into the well. Lift me up, and my father that I will not set my foot in the she held forth her hands. Yayati seized her capital of Frishaparva and she sent her hand and helped her out of the well. Back to Sukracharya. Devayani did not wish to return to the extremely grieved at the sad plight of his capital of the king of the Asuras. She did daughter Sukracharya hurried to her. Not feel it safe to go there, is she? Caressing her, he said, It is by their own pondered again and again on Sarmishtha's actions, good or bad, that men are happy conduct. She told Yayati, You have held or miserable. The virtues or vices of a maiden by her right hand, and you must others will not affect us in the least. With marry her. I feel that you're in every way these words of wisdom, he tried to. Worthy to be my husband. Console her. Yayati replied, Loving soul, I am as she replied in sorrow and anger, Father, Kshatriya and you are a Brahman maiden. Leave alone my merits and faults, which how can I marry you? How can they? Or after all my own concern? But tell me daughter of Sukracharya, who is worthy to this, was Sarmishtha, the daughter of, be the preceptor of the whole world. Vrishaparva, right when she told me you submit to be the wife of a Kshatri like were but a minstrel singing the praises of myself. Revered lady, return home. Kings. She called me the daughter of a having said these words Yayati went back mendicant living on the doles won by. To his capital. Flattery. Not content with this arrogant contumely, she slapped me and threw me. Into a pit which was nearby. I cannot stay candles outside the pale of caste in any place within her father's territory. Virtue should not mix with them. My. And Devayani began to weep. Mind is ablaze with the anger roused by Sukrachar you drew himself up proudly. The taunts of Frishaparva's daughter. The. Devayani, he said with dignity, your wounds inflicted by weapons may close and not the daughter of a court minstrel. Your time, scalds may heal gradually, but. Father does not live on the wages of. Wounds inflicted by words remain painful flattery. You are the daughter of one who as long as one lives, is reverenced by all the world. Indra, the Sukrachar you went to Vrishaparvand, king of the gods, knows this, and, fixing his eyes on him gravely said, Vrishaparvi is not ignorant of his debt to, O king, the one since may not bring me, but no worthy man extols his own. Immediate punishment they are sure, merits and I shall say no more about, sooner or later, to destroy the very germ myself. Arise, you are a peerless gem, of prosperity. Katja, the son of, among women, bringing prosperity to, Brihaspati, was a Brahmacharan who had your family. Be patient. Let us go home. Conquered his senses and never committed in this context by giving advice advises any sin. 
he served me with fidelity and humanity in general in the following. Never strayed from the path of virtue. Words of counsel addressed by. Your attendants try to kill him. I bore it. Sucre to his daughter. My daughter, who holds her honor high. He conquers the world, who patiently had to hear dishonoring words uttered by puts up with the abuse of his neighbors. Your daughter. Besides, she was pushed he who controls his anger, as a horseman into a well by your daughter. She cannot break an unruly horse, as indeed a any more stay in your kingdom. Without Shri Otir and not he who merely holds her I cannot live here either. So, I am the reins, but let the horse go with it going out of your kingdom. Would he who sheds his anger just as he at these words the king of the Asuras was snake at slough, is a real hero. He who is sorely troubled and said, I am ignorant of not moved despite the greatest torments the charges laid at my door. If you, inflicted by others, will realize his aim. He abandoned me, I shall enter fire and die. Who never gets angry is superior to the secretary you replied. I care more for the ritualist who faithfully performs for the happiness of my daughter than for the fate hundred years the sacrifice is all ordained by a view in your asuras, for she is the one scripture. Servants, friends, brothers, wife, thing I have endeared to me than life children, virtue and truth abandon the man itself. If you can appease her, it is well who gives way to anger. The wise will not and good. Otherwise I go. Take to heart the words of boys and girls. Vrishaparva and his retinue went to the Devayani humbly told her father, I am tree under which Devayani stood and they indeed a little girl, but, I hope, not to throw themselves at her feet in. Young to benefit by the great truth taught supplication. By you. Yet, it is not proper to live with Devayani was stubborn and said, Persons who have no sense of decency or Sarmat the who told me that I was the decorum. The wise will not keep company daughter of a beggar, should become I with those who speak ill of their family. Handmaiden and attend on me in the house however rich they may be, the ill into which my father gives me in. Mannered are really the veritable. Marriage. Vrishaparva consented and asked his seven. Yayati. Attendants to fetch his daughter. Emperor Yayati was one of the. Sarmishtha. Ancestors of the Pandavas. He had never Sarmat that admitted her fault and bowed no own defeat. He followed the dictates of insubmission. She said, Let it be as my the Sastras adored the gods and venerated companion Devayani desires. My father. His ancestors with intense devotion. He shall not lose his preceptor for a fault became famous as a ruler devoted to the committed by me. I will be her attendant. Welfare of his subjects. Devayani was pacified and returned to her but as has already been told, he became house with her father. Prematurely old by the curse of. On another occasion also Devayani came to Kriturya for having wronged his wife across Yayati. She repeated her request Devayani. In the words of the poet of thee that he should take her as his wife since he Mahabharata. Had clasped her right hand. Yayati again. Yayati attained that old age which repeated his objection that he, Akshatriya, destroys beauty and brings on miseries. It could not lawfully marry a Brahmana. It's needless to describe the misery of youth. Finally, they both went to Sukracharya and suddenly blighted into age. Where they got his assent to their marriage. This is an horrors of loss are accentuated by Pang's instance of the Pretoloma marriage which of recollection was resorted to on exceptional occasions. Yai Adi, who found himself suddenly an disastrous, no doubt, prescribed what is old man, was still haunted by the desire right and forbid what is wrong buddy. For sensual enjoyment, he had five. Marriage once effected cannot be made. Beautiful sons, all virtues and invalid. Accomplished. Yai Adi called them and Yai Adi and Devayani spent many days and appealed piteously to their affection. Happiness. Sarmat the remained with her. The curse of your grandfather. As an attendant. One day Sarmat the met so creature you has made me unexpectedly. Yayati in secret and earnestly prayed to him prematurely old. I have not had my bet taken also as his wife. He yielded to her fill of the joys of life. For, not knowing prayer and married her without thee. What was in store for me I lived a life of knowledge of Devayani. Restraint, denying myself even lawful. But Devayani came to know of it and was pleasures. 
One of you ought to bear the naturally very angry. She complained to burden of my old age and give his youth her father and secretary in his rage in return. He who agrees to this and cursed Yai Ati with premature old age, bestows his youth on me will be the ruler Yai Ati, thus suddenly stricken with aging of my kingdom. I desire to enjoy life in the very prime of his manhood, begged so the full vigour of youth. Humbly for forgiveness that Sukrachirya, he first asked his eldest son. That son who had not forgotten divine his rescue replied, O great king, women and from the well, at last relented. Servants will mock at me if I were to take he said, O king, you have lost the glory upon myself your old age. I cannot do go, which is youth. The curse cannot be. Ask of my younger brothers who are, recalled, but if you can persuade anyone dearer to you than myself, to exchange his youth for your age thee when the second son was approached, the exchange will take effect. Thus he gently refused with the words, Father, blessed ye Ati and bade him farewell. You ask me to take up old age that destroys not only strength and beauty but could and spent many years within. Also as I see wisdom, I am not strong. Absar maiden, enough to do so. After long years spent in vain efforts to the third son replied, An old man cannot quench desire by indulgence, the truth ride a horse or an elephant. His speech dawned on him. Will falter. What can I do in such a? Returning to Puru, he said, Dear son, helpless plight. I cannot agree. Since you will desire is never quenched by. The king was angry and disappointed that indulgence any more than fire is by. His three sons had declined to do as he pouring gain it. I had heard and read wished, but he hoped for better from his this. But till now I had not realized it. No fourth son, to whom he said, You should object of desire, corn, gold, cattle or take up my old age. If you exchange your women, nothing can ever satisfy the desire youth with me. I shall give it back to you of man. We can reach peace only by a. After some time and take back the old age mental poise beyond likes and dislikes, with which I have been cursed. Such is the state of Brahman. Take back the fourth son begged to be forgiven as your youth and rule the kingdom wisely. This was a thing he could by no means. And well, consent to. An old man had to seek thee with these words. Yai Ati took his old age. Help of others even to keep his body clean. Puru, who regained his youth was made a most pitiful plight. No, much as he. King Bayai Ati who retired to the forest. Loved his father he could not do it. He spent his time there in austerities and Yai Ati was struck with sorrow at the in due course, attained heaven. Refusal of the four sons. Still, hoping eight. Vedra. Against hope, he supplicated his last son the sage Mandavi who had acquired who had never yet opposed his wishes. Strength of mind and knowledge of thee. You must save me. I am afflicted with scriptures, spent his days in penance in this old age with its wrinkles, debility and the practice of truth. Grey hairs as a result of the curse of he lived in a hermitage in the forests on Sukracharya. It is too hard a trial. If you the outskirts of the city, one day while he will take upon yourself these infirmities, I was immersed in silent contemplation shall enjoy life for just a while more and under the shade of a tree outside his hut to then give you back your youth and resume leaves. A band of robbers fled through the my old age and all its sorrows. Pray, do wits with officers of the king and hot not refuse as your elder brothers have pursued. Done. The fugitives entered the ashrama. Puru, the youngest son, moved by filial thinking that it would be a convenient love, said, Father, I gladly give you my place to hide themselves in. They placed youth and relieve you of the sorrows of their booty in a corner and hid themselves. Old age and cares of state. Be happy. The soldiers of the king came to thee. Hearing these words Yai Ati embraced. Ashram tracking their footsteps. Him. As soon as he touched his son. The commander of the soldiers asked. Yai Ati became a youth. Puru. Mandavya. Who was wrapped in deep. Accepted the old age of his father ruled meditation in a tone of peremptory. The kingdom and acquired great renown. Command. Did you see the robbers pass Yai Ati enjoyed life for long, and not by? Where did they go? Reply at once so satisfied, went later to the garden of, that we may give chase and capture from the spear. Then he prostrated at his them. 
feet and prayed humbly to be forgiven for the sage, who was absorbed in yoga. The offence unwittingly committed. Remained silent. The commander repeated Mandavya was not angry with the king. The question insolently. But the sage did he went straight to Dharma, the divine not hear anything. In the meantime some dispenser of justice, who was seated on of the attendants entered the ashrama and his throne, and asked him, what crime discovered the stolen goods lying there? Have I committed to deserve this torture? They reported this to their commander. Lord Dharma, who knew the great power? All of them went in and found the stolen of the sage, replied in all humility. Oh, goods and the robbers who were in hiding. Sage, you have tortured birds and bees. The commander thought. Now I know are you not aware that all deeds, good or the reason why the Brahmana pretended to bad however small, inevitably produce be a silent sage. He is indeed the chief of their results, good or evil. These robbers. He has inspired this. Mandavi was surprised at this reply of robbery. Then he ordered his soldiers to Lord Dharma and asked, When did I guard the place? Went to the king and told commit this offence. Him that the sage Mandavi had been. Lord Dharma replied, When you were caught with the stolen goods. Child. The king was very angry at the audacity Mandavi then pronounced a curse on. Of the chief of the robbers who had put on Dharma. This punishment you have the garb of a Brahmana sage. The better to decree it is far in excess of the deserts of a to see the world. Without pausing to. Mistake committed by a child in. Verify the facts. He ordered the wicked ignorance. Be born, therefore, as a mortal criminal, as he thought him, to be. In the world. Impaled. Lord Dharma who was thus cursed by thee the commander returned to thee. Sage Mandavya incarnated as Vidra in hermitage, impaled Mandavya on a spear was born of the servant maid of, and handed over the stolen things to the Amblika, the wife of Vidra de Virya, king. This story is intended to show that Vidra the virtuous sage, though impaled on thee was the incarnation of Dharma. The great spear did not die. Since he was in yoga men of the world regarded Vidra as a when he was impaled he remained alive. Mahatma who was unparalleled in his. By the power of yoga. Sages who lived in knowledge of dharma, sastras and other parts of the forest came to his. Statesmanship and was totally devoid of hermitage and asked Mandavya how he. Attachment and anger. Bhishma appointed came to be in that terrible pass. Him. While well, he was still in his teens. As the Mandavya replied. Whom shall I blame? Chief Counselor of King Dhritarashtra, the servants of the king, who protect the Vyasta has it that no one in the three world have inflicted this punishment. Worlds could equal Vidra in virtue and the king was surprised and frightened. Knowledge. When Dhritarashtra gave his, when he heard that the impaled sage was permission for the game of dice, Vidra is still alive and that he was surrounded by fell at his feet and protested solemnly. Oh, the other sages of the forest. He hastened king and lord, I cannot approve of this to the forest with his attendants and at action. Strife will set in among your sons once ordered the sage to be taken down as a result. Pray, do not allow this. Dritastra also tried in manly ways to divine visitor, asked, O oh God, who art to sway his wicked son? He said to him, Thou, do not proceed with this game. Fidur the son replied, Dear maiden, I am the does not approve of it. The wise Vidura of Sun. I have been drawn to you by the spell lofty intellect who is ever intent on our of the sun giving man to that you have welfare. He says the game is bound to. Uttered. Result in a fierceness of hate which Will Cunty was august and said. I am an consumer Sander kingdom. Unwedded girl dependent on my father. I but Juri and Hannah did not heed this advice. I'm not fit for motherhood and do not. Carried away by his doting fondness for desert. I merely wish to test the power his son, Dritus just surrendered as of the boon granted by the sage Dervaza. Better judgment and sent to Yudhishthi to go back and forgive this childish folly of the fateful invitation to the game. Mine. But the sun god could not Thursday ninth. Conti Devi. Return because the power of the man Jsura, the grandfather of Shri Krishna, held him. She for her part was mortally was a worthy sign of the Adav race afraid of being blamed by the world. The his daughter Pritha was noted for her. Sun God however reassured her. Beauty and virtues. 
since his cousin, no blame shall attach to you. After Kunta Poe was childless, so regave his bearing my son. You will regain virginity. Daughter Pritha an adoption to him. From Kunti conceived by the grace of the sun. That time she was known by the name of the giver of light and life to all the world. Kunti after her adoptive father. Divine births take place immediately. When Kunti was a little girl, the sage without the nine months weary course of Darvaza stayed for a time as a guest in her mortal gestation. Father's house and she served the sage for she gave birth to Karni who was born. A year with all care, patience and with divine armour and earrings and with devotion. He was so pleased with her that bright and beautiful like the sun. In time, he gave her a divine mantra. He said, he became one of the world's greatest. If you call upon any god repeating this heroes, after the birth of the child, Kanti Mandra, he will manifest himself to you once again became a virgin as a result of and bless you with a son equal to him and the boon granted by the sun. Glory. He granted her this boon because she wondered what she should do with. He foresaw by his yogic power the, the child. To hide her fault she placed the misfortune that was in store for her future child in a sealed box and set it to float in a husband. River. A childish rye oh dear happened to the impatient curiosity of youth made. See the floating case, and taking it, was Conti test then and there the efficacy of surprised and delighted to see within it to the mantra by repeating it and invoking gorgeously beautiful child. The sun whom she saw shining in thee. He handed it over to his wife who. Heavens. At once the sky grew dark with lavish the mother's love on it. Thus. Clouds. And under cover of them, the son Karna, the son of the sun god, came to be god approached the beautiful princess, brought up as a shriateer's child. When Kuntian stood gazing at her with ardent the time came forgiving Kuntian, soul-scorching admiration. Kunti. Marriage, Kuntipoya invited all the overpowered by the glorious vision of her neighboring princes in Hilde. Swayam Vara for her to choose her day Pandu and Madri forgot their sorrow's husband. In the rapture of sympathy with thee, many eager suitors flocked to thee, throbbing life around them, the happy, swam Vara as the princess was widely, flowers, creepers, birds and other, famed for her great beauty and virtue, creatures of the forest, Kanti placed the garland on the neck of in spite of Madra's earnest and repeated King Pandu, the bright representative of protests Banda's resolution broke down the Bharata race, whose personality, under the exhilarating influence of the eclipse the luster of all the other princes season, and at once the curse of the sage assembled there. The marriage was duly took effect and Pandu fell, dead, solemnized and she accompanied her. Madri could not contain her sorrow. Since husband to his capital Hastinapur, she felt that she was responsible for the on the advice of Bishman in death of the king. She burnt herself on the accordance with the prevailing custom, Per of her husband entreating Kunti to Pandu took a second wife Madri, the sister remain and be a mother to her doubly. Of the king of Madra. In the old days the orphan children. Kings took two or three wives for making the sages of the forest took the bereaved shirt of progeny and not for mere sense you will in grief stricken Kunti and the Pandava's desire. To Hastinapur and entrusted them to. 10. Death of Pandu. Bishma. O N E day King Pandu was out hunting. A. Yudhishthira was but sixteen years old at sage and his wife were also sporting in thee that time. When the sages came to forest in the guise of deer, Pandu shot the Hastinapur and reported the death of male with an arrow. In ignorance of the Pandu in the forest, the whole kingdom fact that it was a sage in disguise. Stricken was plunged in sorrow. Vajra, Bhishma, to death the Rishi thus cursed Pandu. Vyasa, Dhritashtra and others performed. Sinner, you will meet with death the funeral rites. Moment you taste the pleasures of thee. All the people in the kingdom lamented as bed. At a personal loss. Fayasa said to Satyavati, Pandu was heartbroken at this curse and the grandmother. The past has gone by retreated to the forest with his wives after pleasantly, but the future has many. Entrusting his kingdom to Bhishma and Sora's in store. The world has passed its vigor and lived their life of perfect truth like a happy dream and it is now abstinence, entering on disillusionment, sin, sorrow seeing that Pandu was desirous of, and suffering. Time is inexorable. You offspring, 
which the Rishi's curse had need not wait to see the miseries, and, denied him, Kanti confided to him the misfortunes that will befall the Shris. Its story of the mantra she had received from will be good for you to leave the city in Dervaza. He urged Kanti and Madri to you spend the rest of your days in a hermitage the mantra and thus it was that the five in the forest. Satyavati agreed and went Pandavas were born of the gods to Kanti to the forest with Ambika and Amblika and Madri. These three aged queens passed through they were born and brought up in the holy asceticism to the higher regions of forest among ascetics. King Pandu lived bliss and spared themselves the sorrows of for many years in the forest with his wives their children. And children. It was springtime. And one eleven. Bhima. The five sons of Pandu and the hundred after the sports they slept in their tents sons of Dritrashtra grew up in mirth and being exhausted. Bhima had exerted. Merriment at Hastinapura. Bhima excelled himself more than the others and as his them all in physical prowess. He used to food had been poisoned, he felt drowsy bully Duryodhana and the other Kauravas and lay down on the bank of the river, by dragging them by the hair and beating Duryodhana bound him with wild, them, creepers and threw him into the river, a great swimmer, he would dive, into, the evil Duryodhana had already caused pools, with one or more of them clasped sharp spikes to be planted on the spot, helpless in his arms, and remain under this was done purposely so that we ma, water till they were almost drowned. Might and falling be impaled on the spikes, whenever they climbed up on a tree he and lose his life. Fortunately there was no wood stand on the ground and kick out the spike in the place where Bima fell. Tree and shake them down like ripe fruits. Poisonous water snakes bit his body. The bodies of the sons of Dritjus to the poisonous food he had taken was. Would be ever sore with bruises as a result counteracted by the snake poison and of Bima's practical jokes. Small wonder Bima came to no harm, and presently, that the sons of Dritjushtra nursed day the river washed him to a bank. Deep hatred for Bima from their very jury had Hannah thought that Bima must, infancy, have died as he had been thrown in the as the princes grew up. Kripacharya, river infested with poisonous snakes and taught them archery and the practice of planted with spikes. So he returned to the arms and other things that princes should city with the rest of the party in great joy. Learn. Duryodhana's jealousy towards. When Yudhishthira inquired about thee. Bhima warped his mind and made him. Whereabouts of Bhima, Duryodhana. Commit many improper acts. Informed him that he had preceded them. Duryodhana was very much worried. His. To the city. Father being blind. The kingdom was ruled Yudhishthira believed Duryodhana and as by Pandu. After his death Yudhishthira, soon as he returned home, asked his, the heir apparent, would in course of time mother whether Bhima had returned, become king. Duryodhana thought that his home. His blind father was quite helpless he his anxious question brought forth the must, to prevent Yudhishthira as accession reply that Bhima had not yet returned, to the throne contrive a way of killing which made Yudhishthira suspect some. Bhima. Foul play against his brother. And he went he made arrangements to carry out his. Again with his brothers to the forest in resolve since he thought that the powers searched everywhere. But Bhima could. Of the Pandavas would decline with the not be found. They went back in great. Death of Bhima. Sorrow. Duryodhana and his brothers planned to sometime later Bhima awoke and trudged through Bhima into the Ganges. In prison. Wearily back home, Kanti and Arjuna and Yudhishthira, and then sees Yudhishthira welcome to and the kingdom and rule it. So Duryodhana embraced him in great joy. By the poison went with his brothers and the Pandavas that had entered his system Bhima became for a swim in the Ganges. Stronger than before, Kanti sent for Vidura and told him in bitter irony of fate, of their common, secret, blood, faced one another, for it was. Duryodhana is wicked and cruel. He Karna. Seeks to kill Bhima since he wants to rule Karna addressed Arjun in a voice deep as the kingdom. I am worried. Rumbling thunder. Arjuna, I shall show Vidura replied. What you say is true, but greater skill than you have displayed. Keep your thoughts to yourself. For if thee withdrawn as leave, Karna the lover of wicked Duryodhana is accused or blamed. Battle then and their duplicated all of his anger and hatred will only increase. Arjuna's feats with carelessness. Great your sons are blessed with long life. You as Duryodhana's exaltation. 
he threw. Need of no fear on that account. His arms round Karnan set. Yudlish Thera also warned Beam and said, Welcome, O oh thou with mighty arms. Be silent over the matter. Hereafter, we whom good fortune has sent to us, I and have to be careful and help one another this kingdom of the Kuris are at you. And protect yourselves. Command. Duryodhana was surprised to see Bhima. Said Karna, I, Karna, am grateful. Oh, come back alive. His jealousy and hatred king. Only two things I seek, your love increased. He heaved a deep sigh and, and single combat with Partha, pinned away in sorrow. Duryodhana clasped Karna again to his, twelve, Karna, bosom and said, My prosperity is all to he Pandavas and the Kauravas learnt, thine to enjoy, the practice of arms first from, as love flooded Duryodhana's heart, even Kripachuya and later from Drona. A day so did blazing wrath fill Arjuna, who felt was fixed for a test and exhibition of their affronted, and glaring fiercely at Karna proficiency in the use of arms in the, who stood, stately as a mountain peak, presence of the royal family and as the receiving the greetings of the Kaurava public had also been invited to witness the brothers, he said, O Karna, slain by me performance of their beloved princes, thou shalt presently go to the hell. There was a large and enthusiastic crowd, appointed for those who intrude uninvited Arjuna displayed superhuman skill with and prayed unbidden. His weapons and the vast assemblage was Karna laughed in scorn. This arena is lost in wonder and admiration. Open to all, O Arjuna, and not to you. Duryodhana's brow was dark with envy. The loan. Might is the sanction of sovereignty and hate. And the law is based on it. But what is they at the close of the day? There came. Use of mere talk which is the weapon of suddenly from the entrance of the arena a the weak. Shitaras instead of words. Sound. Loud and compelling like thunder thus challenged. Arjuna. With Dranas. The sound made by the slapping of mighty permission, hastily embraced his brother's arms in challenge. All eyes turned in that and stood ready for combat. While Karna, direction, they saw enter through the, taking leave of the Kuru brothers, crowd, which made way in odd silence, confronted him weapon in hand. A godlike youth from whom light and, and, as though the divine parents of the power seemed to emanate, he looked. Heroes sought to encourage their offspring proudly round him, cast a negligent salute and witnessed this fateful battle, Indra, the Tadrona and Kripa, and strode up to, Lord of the Thunderclouds, and Bhaskar of Arjuna, the brothers, all unaware, by the, the infinite rays, simultaneously appeared of love his head already moistened by the in the heavens, water of the coronation, when she saw Karna, Kanti knew him as, at this sight, Bhima roared with laughter her firstborn and fainted away. Fidurin said, Oh he is after all only the son of instructed the maidservant to attend upon a shri o tear. Take up the driving whip her and she revived. She stood stupid then as befits thy parentage. Thou art not with anguish not knowing what to do. Worthy of death at the hands of Arjuna. As they were about to join in battle. Nor should the reign in anger as a creeper, well versed in the rules of single king combat, step between them and, at this outrageous speech, Karna's lips addressed Karna, trembled with anguish and he speaklessly, this prince, who is ready to fight with looked up at the setting sun with a deep thee, is the son of Prithan Pandu and Asai, scion of the Kuru race, reveal low mighty but Juryad Hana broke in indignantly, armed I parent to Jan the race rendered, it is unworthy of you, O Rikodara, too illustrious by thy birth, it is only after speak thus. Valor is the hallmark of knowing thy lineage that Partha can fight Kshatriya. Nor is there much sense in. With thee, for high-born princes cannot trace in great heroes and mighty rivers to engage in single combat with unknown. Their sources. I could give you hundreds of adventurers. Of instances of great men of humble birth when he heard these words, Karna bent. And I know awkward questions might be. Down his head like a lotus under thee. Asked of your own origin. Look at this weight of rainwater. Warrior, his godlike form and bearing, his Juryad Hannah stood up and said, If the armor and earrings, and his skill with combat cannot take place merely because weapons. Surely there is some mystery. Karna is not a prince, why, that is easily about him. For how could a tiger be born remedied? 
I crown Karni as the king of Avangantalope, unworthy of being king of Anga. He then obtained the assent of Anga, didst thou say. I verily hold him Bishma and Registra, performed all worthy to rule the whole world. The necessary rights and invested Karni in generous wrath, Juriad Hanatuk, with the sovereignty of the kingdom of Karni in his chariot and drove away. Anga giving him the crown, jewels and the sun set and the crowd dispersed in other royal insignia. Tumult. There were groups loud in talk at that moment, as the combat between, under the light of the lamps, some. The youthful heroes seemed about to glorifying Arjuna, others Karna, and commence the old trio dear Adhiratha, others again Duryodhana according to who was the foster father of Karna. Their predilection entered the assembly, staff in hand and Indra foresaw that the supreme contest was quaking with fear, inevitable between his son Arjuna and no sooner did he see him, that Karna, the Karna, and he put on the garb of a Newly crowned king of Anga, bowed his Brahmanan came to Karna, who was head and did humble obeisance in all filial reputed for his charity and begged of him reverence. The old man called him son, his earrings and armor. The sun god had embraced him with his thin and trembling already warned Karna in a dream that arms, and wept with joy wetting with tears and would try to deceive him in this manner. Still, Karna could not bring himself to unable to recall the invocatory mantra refuse any gift that was asked of him. When your hour comes. Hence he cut off the earrings and armor it was because of this curse that at the with which he was born and gave them to crisis of his last fight with Arjuna, Karna the Brahmana, was not able to recall the Brahmastra. Indra, the king of gods, was filled with spell, though he had remembered it till surprise and joy. After accepting the gift, then, Karna was the faithful friend of he praised Karna as having done what no jury had had and remained loyally with one else would do, and shamed into the Kauravas until the end. Generosity bade Karna ask for any boon after the fall of Bhishma and Drona, he wanted. Karna became the leader of the Kaurava. Karna replied, I desire to get your army and fought brilliantly for today's weapon, the Sakti, which has the power to in the end. The wheel of his chariot stuck kill enemies. Indra granted the boon, but in the ground and he was not able to lift it with a fateful proviso. He said, you can free and drive the chariot along. Well he used this weapon against but one enemy, was in this predicament, Arjuna killed and it will kill him whosoever he may be. Him. Kanti was sunk in sorrow, all they but this killing done. This weapon will no more poignant because she had, at that longer be available to you but will return time to conceal it, to me. With these words Indra, 13, Drona, disappeared. Drona, the son of a Brahmana named Karna went to Parasarama and became his Bawa Aradwara. After completing his study of disciple by representing to him that he the Vedas and the Vedangas, devoted, was a Brahmana. He learnt of Parasarama himself to the art of archery and became a the mantra for using the master weapon great master, known as Brahmastra. Drupada, the son of the king of Pankala, one day Parasarama was reclining with. He was a friend of Bawa Aradwala, was he? The head on Karna's lap when a stinging fellow student of Drona in the hermitage worm burrowed into Karna's thigh. Blood and there grew up between them the began to flow and the pain was terrible. Generous intimacy of youth. But Karna bore it without tremor lest he Drupada, in his boyish enthusiasm, used should disturb the master's sleep. Often to tell Drona that he would give him Parasarama awoke and saw the blood that half his kingdom when he ascended the had poured from the wind throne. After completing his studies, he said, Dear pupil, you are not a Drona married the sister of Kripa and a Brahmana. A Kshatri alone can remain sonless what Thama was born to them. Unmoved under all bodily torments, tell Drona was passionately attached to his me the truth, wife and son, and for their sake, desired Karna confessed that he had told a lie in to acquire wealth, a thing that he had presenting himself as a Brahman and that never cared for before. Learning that, he was in fact the son of a Shriotir. Parasarama was distributing his riches. Parasarama in his anger pronounced this among the Brahmanas. He first went to curse on him, since you deceived your him. But he was too late as Parasarama Guru, 
The Brahmastra you have learnt shall had already given away all his wealth and fail you at the fated moment. You will be was about to retire to the forest. But, anxious to do something for Drona, one day, the princes were playing with a Parasurama offered to teach him the use ball outside the precincts of the city, and of weapons, of which he was supreme. In the course of the game, the ball is well master, as Yudhishtharas ring fell into well. The Drona joyfully agreed, and great archers princes had gathered round the well and he already was, he became unrivaled. Saw the ring shining from the bottom. Master of the military art, worthy of eager through the clear water. But could see no welcome as preceptor in any princely. Way of getting it out. They did not. House in that warlike age. However, notice that a Brahmana of dark meanwhile, Drupada had descended the complexion stood nearby watching them. Throne of Pankala on the death of his with a smile. Father. Remembering their early intimacy. Princes. He surprised them by saying, and Drupada's expressions of readiness too. You are the descendants of the heroic serve him, even to the extent of sharing Bharataris. Why cannot you take out the his kingdom? Drona went to him in the ball as anyone skilled in arms should. Confident hope of being treated. Know how to do. Shall I do it for you? Generously. Yudhishthira laughed and said in fun. Oh. But he found the king very different from Brahmana, if you take out the ball, we will the student. When he introduced himself see that you have a good meal in me. As an old friend, Drupada, far from being house of Kripacharya. Then Drona the glad to see him, felt it an intolerable Brahmana stranger, took a blade of grass presumption, and sent it forth into the well after reciting drunk with power and wealth, Drupada. Certain words of power for propelling it is said, O Brahmana, how dare you address an arrow? Me familiarly as your friend. What? The blade of grass straightway sped in friendship can there be between a throne stuck into the ball. Afterwards he sent a king and a wandering beggar. What a full number of similar blades in succession must you be to presume on some long past which clinging together formed a chain. Acquaintance to claim friendship with the way Ruth Drona took out the ball. King who rules the kingdom. How can he? The princes were lost in amazement in pauper be the friend of a wealthy man, or delight and begged of him to get the ring an ignorant boor of a learned scholar, or it also. Drawn a borrowed a bit, fixed an. Coward of a hero. Friendship can exist arrow on the string and sent it right into only between equals. A vagrant beggar. The ring. The arrow rebounding brought cannot be the friend of a sovereign. Up the ring and the brahmana handed it to Drona was turned out of the palace with the prince with a smile. Scorn in his ears and a blazing wrath in his seeing these feats, the princes were heart astonished and said, We salute you, oh, he made a mental vow to punish thee. Brahmana, who are you? Is there anything arrogant king for this insult and his we can do for you? And they bowed to repudiation of the sacred claims of early him. Friendship. His next move in search of he said, O oh, princes, Go to Bishman and employment was to go to Hastinapura. Learn from him who I am. Where he spent a few days, in retirement, from the description given by the princes, in the house of his brother-in-law. Bishman knew that the Brahmana was. Kripacharya. None other than the famous master Drona. He decided that Drona was the fittest his efforts were crowned with success. Person to impart further instruction to thee with the birth of Drishita Jyamahu. Pandavas and the Kauravas. So, Bhishma commanded the Pandava army at, received him with special honour and, Kurukshetra and, helped by a strange, employed him to instruct the princes in combination of circumstances, slivy the use of arms, otherwise unconquerable Drona, and birth as soon as the Kauravas and the Pandavas of Tribadi, the consort of the Pandavas, had acquired mastery in the science of fourteen, the wax palace, arms, Drona sent Karn and Duryodhana. The jealousy of Duryodhana began to to seize Drupada and bring him alive, and grow at the sight of the physical strength discharge of the duty they owed to him as of Bhima and the dexterity of Arjuna. Their master, Karn and Sakuni became Duryodhana's. They went as ordered by him, but could evil counsellors in planning wily not accomplish their task. Then the master's stratagems sent forth Arjuna on the same errand. 
he as for Purjajistra, he was always defeated Drupada in battle and brought man no doubt and he also loved his him and his minister captives to Drona, brother sons, but he was weak of will then Drona smilingly addressed Drupada, and dittingly attached to his own children. Great king, do not fear for your life, in for his children's sake the worse became our boy he'd be where companions but you the better reason, and he would sometimes were pleased to forget it and dishonour me. Even knowingly follow the wrong path. You told me that a king alone could be jury had Hannah sought in various ways to call friend to a king. Now I am a king, having the Pandavas. It was by means of thee. Conquered your kingdom. Still I seek to secret help rendered by Vidurahu. Regain my friendship with you, and so I wanted to save the family from a great sin. Give you half of your kingdom that has that the Pandavas escaped with their lives. Become mine by conquest. Your creed is one unforgivable offence of the Pandavas that friendship is possible only between in the eyes of Duryodhana was that the equals. And we shall now be equals. Each people of the city used to praise them owning a half of your kingdom. Openly and declare in season and out of Drona thought this sufficient revenge for season that Yudhishthira alone was fit to the insult he had suffered. Set Drupada to be the king. Liberty and treated him with honour. They would flock together and argue. Drupada's pride was thus humbled but, Dhritarashtra could never be king for he since hate is never extinguished by, was born blind. It is not proper that he retaliation, and few things are harder to should now hold the kingdom in his, bear than the pangs of wounded vanity, hands. Bhishma cannot be king either. Hatred of Drona and a wish to be revenged because he is devoted to truth and to his on him became the ruling passion of, vow that he would not be a king. Hence Drupada's life, Yudhishthira alone should be crowned as the king performed tapas, underwent. King. He alone can rule the Kuru race and fasts and conducted sacrifices in order to the kingdom with justice. Thus people win the gratified gods to bless him with a talk everywhere. These words were, Son who should slay Drona and a daughter poison to Duryodhana's and maid. Who should wed Arjuna? Him writhe and burn with jealousy. He went to Drajastra and complained torment. After sending the Pandavas to bitter Leo of the public talk, Father, the Varanavata we shall try to strengthen our citizens' babble irrelevant nonsense. They party. Have no respect even for such venerable later. Some politicians were prevailed persons as Bishma and yourself. They, upon to join Duryodhana's party and, say that Yudhishthira should be, advise the king in the matter. Kanika, the immediately crowned king, this wit, minister of Sakuni, was their leader. Oh, bring disaster on us. You were set aside king, he said, guard yourselves against because of your blindness, and your, the sons of Bandu, for their goodness and brother became the king. If you'd wish their influence or a menace to you and yours, is to succeed his father, where do we? The Pandavas are the sons of your, come, what chance has our progeny? Brother, but the nearer the kin, the closer after Yudhishthira his son, and his sons and deadlier the danger. Their very son, and then his son will be the kings. Strong. We will sink into poor relations dependent Sakuna's minister continued. Be not on them even for our food. To live in hell wrath with me if I say a king should be would be better than that. Mighty in action is in name, for nobody at these words. Dhritarashtra began to will believe in strength which is never ponder and said, Son, what you say is displayed. State affairs should be kept true. Still Yudhishthira will not stray from secret and the earliest indication to lead the path of virtue. He loves all. He has public, of a wise plan, should be its. Truly inherited all the excellent virtues of execution. Also, evils must be eradicated his deceased father. People praise him and promptly for a thorn which has been. Will support him, and all the ministers of allowed to remain in the body may cause the state and commanders of armies to a festering wound. Powerful enemies, whom Pandu had endeared himself by who should be destroyed and even a weak for nobility of character, will surely espouse should not be neglected since some year. His cause. As for the people, the idolized spark, if overlooked, may cause a forest the Pandavas. We cannot oppose them. Fire. A strong enemy should be destroyed with any chance of success. If we do. By means of stratagem and it would be. Injustice. The citizens will rise in. Folly to show mercy to him. 
O King, guard insurrection and either kill us or expel us, yourself against the sons of Bandu. They we shall only cover ourselves with, our very powerful, ignominy. Duryodhana told Dritrishtra of his. Duryodhana replied, Your fears are success in securing adherents. I have baseless. Bhishma will at worst be neutral, bought the goodwill of the kings. While Ashwapthama is devoted to me. Attendance with gifts of wealth and honour. Which means that his father Drona and. I have won over his ministers too our. Uncle Kripa will also be on our side. Cause. If you will adroitly prevail upon the Vidura cannot openly oppose us, if for no Pandavas to go to Varanavata, the city and other reason, because he has not thee. The whole kingdom will take our side. Strength. Send the Pandavas immediately they will not have a friend left here. Once to Varanavata. I tell you the solemn truth the kingdom has become ours. Their will that my cup of suffering is full and I can be no power for harm left in them, and it bear no more. It pierces my heart and may even be possible to let them come. Renders me sleepless and makes my life a back. When many began to say what he himself the ostentatious love and solicitude with which to believe, Dritus trust mine which the Pandavas had been received, was shaken and he yielded to his sons. And treated would obviate all suspicion councils. It only remained to give effect and the fire would be taken as a sad case to the plot. Of pure accident. No one would dream of the ministers began to praise the beauty blaming the Kauravas. Of Varanavata in the hearing of the. 15. The escape of Dehichi. Pandavas and made mention of the fact. Pandavas. That a great festival in honour of Siva after taking reverential leave of the. Would be conducted there with all pomp elders and embracing their comrades. The in splendour. Pandavas proceeded to Varanavata. The. The unsuspecting Pandavas were easily. Citizens accompanied them a part of their persuaded, especially one Drijas away and returned unwillingly to the city. Also told them in tones of great affection Vidura pointedly warned Yudhishthir in that they should certainly go and witness words intelligible only to the prince, the festivities, not only because they were. He alone will escape from danger who worth seeing but because the people of the Foritals the intentions of an astute place were eager to welcome them. Enemy. There are weapons sharper than. The Pandavas took a leave of Bhishma and those made of steel. And the wise man. Other elders and went to Varanavata, who had escaped destruction must know Duryodhana was elated. He plotted with the means to guard against them. D. Karn and Sakuni to kill county and her conflagration that devastates the forest sons at Varanavata. They sent for. Cannot hurt a rat which shelters itself in a Purukana, a minister, and gave him. Hole or a porcupine which burrows in the secret instructions which he bound. Earth. The wise man knows his bearings himself to carry out faithfully. By looking at the stars. Before the Pandavas proceeded to. Though they had started on their journey Varanavata, Purokana, true to his. In sunshine of joy, they now proceeded in instructions, hastened to the spot well in a dark cloud of sorrow and anxiety. Advance and had a beautiful palace built the people of Varanavata were very. Further reception. Combustible materials happy to learn of the coming of the. Like jute, lac, ghee, oil, and fat were used Pandavas to their city and welcomed. In the construction of the palace. The them. After a brief stay in other houses materials for the plastering of the walls while the palace specially meant for them were also inflammable. He skillfully filled was being got ready. They moved into it up various parts of the building with dry under Parochina's guidance, things that could catch fire easily, and had it was named Sivam, which means inviting seats and bedsteads disposed of prosperity, and that was the name which, the most combustible places, in ghastly irony, was given to thee. Every convenience was furnished for the death trap. You'd hush there diligently. Pandavas to dwell in the city without fear, examine the whole place bearing in mind until the palace was built. When the Vidra's warning and verified that the Pandavas had settled down in the wax, building was without a shadow of doubt house. The idea was to set fire to it at night constructed with combustible material. When they were sound of sleep, you'd hush that it all bima. Though we know very well that the palace is a trap of death. We should not make the Rokana come to Devi arranged a sumptuous feast for suspect that we know his plot. We should the attendants that day, 
Her idea was to get away at the right moment but escape lull them to well fed sleep at night. Would be difficult if we gave room for any at midnight. Bima set fire to the palace suspicion. In several places. Conta Devi and the. So they stayed in that house to all. Pandava brothers hurried out through the appearance free from care. Meanwhile, subterranean passage, groping their way Vajra had sent an expert miner who met out in the darkness. Presently, there was a them in secret and said, My password is roaring fire all over the palace and a fast the veiled warning Vajra gave you. I, swelling crowd of frightened citizens all have been sent to help you for your around in loud and helpless lamentation. Protection. Some bustled aimlessly in futile efforts to this was meant to indicate to put out the conflagration and all join in Yudhishthira and to him alone. The cry, alas, alas, this surely is Duryodhana's hideous blot and the means Duryodhana's work, and he is killing thee of escape from danger. Yudhishthira, signless Bandavas, answered that he had grasped Vidaras. The palace was reduced to ashes. Meaning, and later he communicated it to Parochana's residence was enveloped in Kuntadevi. Flames before he could escape and he fell henceforward the minor worked for many an emptied victim to his own wicked plot. Days in secret, unknown to Parochana, the people of Varanavata sent thee, and completed a subterranean egress from following message to Hastinapura, the the wax house right under and across the palace which was the abode of the walls and the moat which ran round the Pandavas has burnt down and no one in it precincts, escaped alive. Purokana had his quarters at the gateway Vyasa has beautifully described the men of the palace. The Pandavas kept armed mental state of Dritrishtra, just as the vigil during night, but by day they used to water of a deep pool as cool at the bottom go out hunting in the forest, to all, and warm on the surface. So the heart of appearance bent on pleasure but really to Dhritarashtra was at once warm with joy make themselves familiar with the forest and chilled with sorrow. Paths. Dhritarashtra and his sons cast off there as has already been said, they carefully royal garments in token of mourning for kept to themselves their knowledge of the the Pandavas whom they believed. Wicked plot against their lives. On his side consumed in the fire. They dressed. Purokana, anxious to lull all suspicion themselves in single garments as became and make the murderous fire seaman. Sorrow Fulcan's men and went to the river accident, waited fully a year before, and performed the propitiatory funeral putting the plot into effect. Right. At last Purokana felt he had waited long no outward show of heart broken. Enough. And the watchful Yudhishthira, bereavement was omitted. It was noticed knowing that the fated moment had by some that Vidruda was not so overcome arrived, called his brothers together and by sorrow as the others and this was set told them that now or never was the time down to his philosophical bent of mind, for them to escape, but the real reason was that he knew that the Pandavas had escaped to safety. When he looked sad, he was in fact to injure us in these ways. Signless following with his mind's eye the weary himself, Bhima could not understand the wanderings of the Pandavas seeing that springs of sinfulness in others and was Bhishma was sunk in sorrow, Vajra, lost in grief, secretly comforted him by revealing to the Pandavas march on, suffering, him the story of their successful escape, many hardships and overcoming many. Bhima saw that his mother and brother's dangers, part of the way, they would carry were exhausted by their nightly vigils as their mother to make better speed, well as by fear and anxiety. He therefore sometimes, tired beyond even heroic, carried his mother on his shoulders in endurance, they would pause and rest, took Nakula and Sahadeva on his hips, sometimes, full of life and the glorious supporting Yudhish that in Arjuna with strength of youth, they would race with his two hands, each other, thus heavily laden, he strode effortlessly they met Bhagav and Vyasa on the way, like a lordly elephant forcing his way all of them bowed before him and, through the forest and pushing aside the received encouragement and wise counsel shrubs and trees that obstructed his path. From him, when they reached the Ganges, there was when Kunti told him of the sorrows that a boat ready for them in charge of a had befallen them, Fyasa consoled her. Boatmen who knew their secret, they, with these words, no virtuous man has crossed the river in the darkness, and strong enough to live in virtue at all times, 
Entering the mighty forest they went on and nor is any sinner bad enough to exist in night and darkness that wrapped them like a one welter of sin. Life is a tangled web shrouded in a silence broken hideously and there is no one in the world who has by the frightful noises of wild animals not done both good and evil. Each and, at last, quite for dawn by toil, they sat everyone has to bear the consequence of down unable to bear the pangs of thirst his actions. Do not give way to sorrow. And overcome by the drowsiness of sheer then they put on the garb of Brahmanas, fatigue. Kontadevi said, I do not care as advised by Vyasa, went to the city of even of the sons of Dritrishjur here Kachakra and stayed there any to seize me, but I must stretch my legs. Brahmana's house, waiting for better days. She forthwith laid herself down and was sixteen. The slaying of Bakasura, sunk in sleep. I in the city of Akachakra, the Pandavas Bhima forced his way about the tangled stayed in the guise of Brahmanas, begging for us in search of water in the darkness. Their food in the Brahmana streets and in finding a pool, he wetted his upper bringing what they got to their mother, garment, made cups of lotus leaves and who would wait anxiously till their return. Brought water to his mother and brothers if they did not come back in time, she who were perishing with thirst, would be worried, fearing that some evil then while the others slept in merciful might have befallen them. Forgetfulness of their woes, Bhima alone county would divide the food they brought sat awake absorbed in deep thought. Two in two equal portions. One half would go not the plants and the creepers of the Tabima. The other half would be shared for us mutually help each other in living by the other brothers and the mother. Peace. He reflected, why should the Bhima, being born of the wind god had, Wicked Dritras Jinjuri had Hana dry great strength and a mighty appetite. Vrikodara, one of the names of Bhima, to my words, and this is the deadly fruit of means wolf bellied, and a wolf, you, your perversity. If I give up my life, this no, looks always famished. And, girl and boy will surely die soon for want however much it might eat, its hunger is of a protector. What shall I do? It is best never quite satisfied that all of us perish together and the Bhima's insatiable hunger and the scanty Brahmana burst forth sobbing. Food he used to get at a catch at until the wife replied, I have been a good together. And he daily grew thin, which wife to you, and done my duty by bearing caused much distress to his mother on you a daughter and a son. Your evil, brothers. Sometime later, Bhima became an I am not, to bring up and protect your acquainted with the potter for whom he, children. Just as cast out offal as pounced helped and fetched clay, the potter, in upon and seized by rapacious birds, a poor return, presented him with a big earthen widowed woman as an easy prey to, pot that became an object of merriment to wicked and dishonest people. Dogs fight the street urchins, for a cloth wet with ghee, and in pulling it one day, when the other brothers had, hither and thither in and clean greed, tear it gone to beg for alms, Bimacina stayed into foul rags. It would be best if I am behind with his mother, and they heard handed over to the Rakshasa. Blessed. Loud lamentations from the house of there indeed is the woman who passes to the Brahmana landlord. Some great calamity other world, while her husband is alive. Surely had befallen the poor family in this, as you know, is what the scriptures county went inside to learn what it was. Say. Bid me farewell. Take care of my the Brahmana and his wife could hardly children. I have been happy with you. I speak for weeping, but, at last they have performed many meritorious actions. Brahmana said to his wife, O oh, unfortunate by my faithful devotion to you, I am sure and foolish woman, though time and again of heaven. Death has no terror for one I wished we should leave this city for he has been a good wife. After I am good, you would not agree. You persisted gone, take another wife. Gladdened me with in saying that you were born and bred. A brave smile, give me your blessing, and here and here you would stay where you send me to the Rakshasa. Parents and relations had lived and died. Hearing these words of his wife, the How can I think of losing you who have Brahmana tenderly embraced her and been to me at once my life's mate, loving utterly overcome by her love and courage, mother, the wife who bore my children, he wept like a child. When he could find me, my all in all, I cannot send you to his voice, he replied, O beloved in death while I keep myself alive. This little noble one, 
What words are these? King I girl has been given to us by God as a trust bear to live without you. The first duty of to be handed over in time to a worthy. A married man is to protect his wife. I man. It is unrighteous to sacrifice or he should indeed be a pitiful sinner if I lived is a gift of God to perpetuate the race. It is after giving you up to the Rakshasa, equally impossible to allow this other, or sacrificing both love and duty. Son, to be killed. How can we live after the daughter who was hearing this? Consigning to death our only solace in life but his conversation, now interposed with under hope for the hereafter. If he is sobs, listen to me, child though I be, and at lust, who would pour libations for us and then do what is proper? It is me alone that our ancestors. Alas, you did not pay heed you can spare to the Rakshasa. By sacrificing one soul, that is, myself, you Rakshasa formerly used to issue from his conceive the others. Let me be the little cave whenever he liked and, mad with, boat to take you across this river of hunger, indiscriminately kill a neat man, calamity, in like manner, a woman, women and children in this city, the without a guardian becomes the sport of citizens prayed to the Rakshasa to come to wicked people who drag her hither and some sort of stipulation in place of this thither. It is impossible for me to protect promiscuous slaughter. They prayed, do two fatherless orphans and they will not glass wantonly at your whim and perish miserably like fish in a waterless pleasure. Once a week we shall bring you pond. If both of you pass away, both thy insufficient meat, rice, curds and this little baby brother of mine will soon intoxicating liquors and many other perish unprotected in this hard world. If delicacies, we will deliver these to you and this family of errors can be saved from a carriage drawn by two bullocks driven destruction by my single death. What a by a human being taken from each house good death mine would be. Even if you, in turn, you can make a repass of the rice, consider my welfare alone. You should, along with the bullocks and the man, but send me to the Rakshasa, refrain from this mad orgy of slaughter. At these brave words of the poor child, the, the Rakshasa agreed to the proposal. Parents tenderly embraced her and wept. From that day, this strong Rakshasa has seen them all in tears the boy, hardly been protecting this kingdom from foreign more than a baby, started up with glowing reeds and wild beasts. This arrangement eyes, lisping, Father, do not weep, has been in force for many years. No hero mother, do not weep. Sister, do not. Has been found to free this country from weep. And he went to each and sat on this vest, for the Rakshasa has invariably their lap by turns. Defeated and killed all the brave men who then he rose up took a stick of fire with tried. Mother, our legitimate sovereign is and brandishing it about, said in his sweet unable to protect us. The citizens of a childish tribal. I shall kill the Rakshasa country, whose king is weak should not with a stick. The child's action in marry and beget children. A worthy speech made them smile in the midst of family life, with culture and domestic their tears, but only added to their great happiness, is possible only under the rule sorrow of a good, strong king. Wife, wealth and feeling this was the moment for. Other things are not safe, if there be no intervention, Contadevi entered and proper king ruling over us, and having inquired for the cause of their sorrow and long suffered with the sight of others whether there was anything she could do sorrow, our own turn has come now to, to help them, send a person as prey to the Rakshasa. I the Brahmana said, Mother, this is he have not the means to purchase thee. Sorrow far beyond your aid. There is a substitute. None of us can bear to live cave near the city, where lives a cruel and after sending one of us to a cruel death terribly strong Rakshasa named Bakasura, and so I shall go with my whole family till he forcibly seize this city and kingdom him. Let the wicked glutton gorge himself thirteen years ago, since then he has held with all of us. I have pained you with us and cruel thraldom. The Kshatri rule these things, but you wish to know. If this country has fled to the city of only God can help us, but we have lost all Vedrakia and is unable to protect us. This hope even of that. The political truths contained in the story of this Brahmana. Duty, nay, man's highest of a catchak are noteworthy and virtue is to repay the benefit he has suggestive. Kanti talked the matter over and enjoyed by doing good in his turn.
I know with Bhimasena and returned to thee. The heroism of Bhima and have no fears. Brahmana, she said. Good man, do not remember who carried us from. Despair. God is great. I have five sons. Varun and Vatuan who killed the demon. One of them will take the food to thee. Hidimba. It is our duty to be of service to Rakshasa. This Brahmana family. The Brahmana jumped up in amazed. After a fierce battle, the Rakshasa. Surprise, but then shook his head sadly back as Surya was slain by Bhimahu, and would not hear of the substituted. Pretended to bring him a cartload of food. Sacrifice. Kunti said, O Brahmana, do not seventeen. Draw to the Swayamvaram. Be afraid. My son is endowed with. While the Pandavas were living in. Superhuman powers derived from Mandra's disguise as Brahmana is to catch Akrapura and will certainly kill this Rakshasa, as I knew of the Swayamvara of Draupadi, they have myself seen him kill many other. Daughter of Drupada, King of Pankala, such Rakshasas. But keep this a secret, reach them. Many Brahmanas of. For, if you reveal it, his power will come a catch Akrapura plan to go to Pankala to not. In the hope of receiving the customary Kunta's fear was that, if the story got gifts and to see the festivities and pageant noised abroad, Duryodhana's men would, of a royal wedding, Kunti, with her, see the hand of the Pandavas, and find out motherly instinct, read her son's desire to their whereabouts. Bhima was filled with go to Pankala and Windra Badi. So she unbounded joy and enthusiasm at the, told Yudhishthira. We have been in this arrangement made by Kunti. City so long that it is time to think of the other brothers return to the house going somewhere else. We have seen. With alms. Dharma Patra saw the face of these hills and dales till we are tired of them and seen a radiant with joy to which at them. The alms doled out to us are. Had long been a stranger and inferred that diminishing and it is not good to outstay he was resolved on some hazardous. Your entertainment. Let us therefore go to adventure and question Kunti who told Drupada's kingdom which is reputed to be him everything. Fair and prosperous. Kunti was second to Yudhishthira said. What is this? Is not none in worldly wisdom and sagacity in this rash and thoughtless? Relying on. Could gracefully divine her sons. Thoughts be as strength we sleep without care or inspire them the awkwardness of. Fear. It is not through the as strength expressing them and daring that we hope to regain thee. The Brahmanas went in groups to witness kingdom that has been seized by our, the Swayamvara and the Pandavas, deceitful enemies. Was it not through the mingled with them in the guise of, prowess of Bhima that we escaped from, Brahmanas? After a long march the party in the wax palace, and you are risking the reach the beautiful city of Drupada and life of Bhima who is our present, billeted themselves in the house of a, protection and future hope. I fear your potter is obscure Brahman is of no note. Many trials have clouded your judgment. Though Drupada and Drona were. Kontadevi replied. Dear sons, we have outwardly at peace. The former never. Lived happily for many years in the house could forget or forgive the humiliation he. Had suffered at the latter's hands. Paul, seeming to fill it with the sweetness Drupada's one wish was to give his. Of her presence and perfect beauty. Daughter in marriage to Arjuna, garland in hand, and coyly glancing at the drone who loved Arjuna so dearly that he, valiant princes, who for their part look could hardly look upon his pupil's father at her in speechless admiration, she, in law as his deadly foe, and if there were ascended the days, the Brahmanas, a war, Drupada would be all the stronger repeated the usual mantras and offered for being Arjuna's father in law, when he ablations in the fire. After the peace heard the news of the destruction of the invocation had been chanted and the Pandavas at Varanavata, he was plunged flourish of music had stopped. In sorrow but was relieved by a later Drisha to geometric dry body by the rumour that they had escaped. Handon led her to the centre of the hall. The marriage hall was beautifully. Then he proclaimed in loud, clear tones, decorated and built amidst a finely laid, Hear ye! O princes seated in state in this outgroup of new guest houses designed assembly, here is the bow. There is thee to accommodate the Swayamvara suitors. Target and here are the arrows. He who and guests. Attractive sights and sports since five arrows in succession through had been arranged for public. 
the whole of the wheel and unringly hits entertainment and there were glorious. The target, if he also be of good family and festivities for fourteen days continuously. Presence, shall win my sister. Then a mighty steel bow is placed in the narrated to drive body the name, ancestry marriage hall. The candidate for the and description of the several suitors princess had was required to string the assembled there. Bow and with it shoot a steel arrow. Many noted princes rose one after another through the central aperture of a revolving and tried in vain to string the bow. It was to scat a target placed on high, too heavy and stiff for them, and they this required almost superhuman strength returned to their places abashed and, and skill, and drew Pada proclaimed that the ashamed hero who would win his daughter should see Supala, Jarazanta, Salya, and perform this feat. Many valiant princes Duryodhana were among these had gathered there from all parts of unsuccessful aspirants. When Karna came by a of Arsha, the sons of Dritjans to forward, all the assemblage expected that were there as well as Karna, Krishna, he would be successful but he failed by Susupala, Jarazanta, and Salya. Just a hair's breadth and the string slid besides the competitors there was a huge back flashing and the mighty bow jump concourse of spectators and visitors. The out of his hands like a thing of life noise that issued there from resembled thee there was great clamour and angry talk, uproar of the ocean and over it all arose some even seeing that it was an. The auspicious sound of festal music from impossible tests put up to shame the kings. Hundreds of instruments. Then all noises were hushed, for the Drishatajyam on horseback rode in. Arose from among the group of Brahmanas front of his sister Draupadi seated on an a youth who advanced towards the bow. Elephant. Fresh from her auspicious bridal it was Arjuna who had come disguised as bath, and clad in flowing silk dry body of Brahmana. When he stood up, wild, dismounted and entered the Swayamvara, clamour burst forth again from the crowd. The Brahmanas themselves were divided, in opinion. Some being highly delighted streamed out of her eyes as she looked on that there should be among them a lad of Arjuna. She approached him and placed, metal enough to compete while others the garland on his neck. Yudhishthira, more envious or worldly-wise, said what Nakula and Sah had ever returned in haste to impudence it was for this Brahmachar into the potter's house to convey the glad news enter the lists when heroes like Karna, immediately to their mother. Salya and others had met with failure. Beam alone remained in the assembly. But there were others again who spoke, fearing that some danger might befall. Differently as they noted the noble in Arjuna from the Kshatriyas, as anticipated shapely proportions of the youth. They by Bhima, the princes were loud in wrath, said, We feel from his appearance that he they said, The practice of Swayamvara is going to win. He looks sure of himself the choosing of a bridegroom is not. And he certainly knows what he is about. Prevalent among the Brahmanas. If this the Brahmana may be physically weaker, Maiden does not care to marry a prince, but is it all a matter of brute strength? She should remain a virgin and burn. What about the power of austerities? Why herself on the pyre? How can a Brahmana should he not try? And they blessed him. Marry her. We should oppose this. Arjuna approached the place where the marriage and prevent it so as to protect by lay and ask Drishy to Jama. Can righteousness and save the practice of a Brahmana try to bend the bow? Swayamvara from the pedal which Drishatajama answered, O oh, best of threatens it. A free fight seemed Brahmanas, my sister will become the life imminent, mate of any one of good family and Bhima plucked the tree by the roots, and presents, who bends the bow and shoots stripping it to foliage, stood armed with the target. My words stun and there will this formidable bludgeon, by the side of be no going back on them. Arjuna ready for any event. Draupadi said then Arjuna meditated on Narayana, the nothing but stood holding on to the skirt supreme god, and took the bow in his, of the deer skin in which Arjuna was clad, hand and strung it with ease. He placed and Krishna, Balarama and others sought to arrow on the string and looked around him appease those who had created thee, with a smile, while the crowd was lost in confusion. Arjuna proceeded to the house spellbound silence, of the potter accompanied by Draupadi. Then without pause or hesitation he shot as Beam and Arjuna were taking five arrows in succession through the drive body to their temporary abode. 
revolving mechanism right into the target Drisha Tajama followed them at E, so that it fell down. The crowd was in distance, and, unseen by them, closely tumult and there was a blare of musical observed everything that took place there. Instruments. He was amazed and delighted at what he the Brahmanas who were seated in the saw, and returning, he secretly told King Assembly in large numbers sent forth. Drupada, Father, I think they are the shouts of joy, waving aloft their dear Pandavas. Drupadi accompanied them. Skins in exaltation as though the whole holding to the skirts of the dear skin of community had one Drupadi. The. That youth and she was not at all abashed. Uproar that followed was indescribable. I also followed and I saw all five and a dry body shone with a fresh beauty. Her venerable and august lady who, I have no face glowed with happiness which, doubt, is Kunti herself. Invited by Drupada Kunti and the Kunti Devi they are happy and well under Pandavas went to the palace. Dharma Putra the care of Drupada, confided to the king that they were the at these words of Vidura, Dhritashtra Pandavas. He also informed him of their felt frustrated but concealed his decision to marry Draupadi in common. Disappointment. He said to Vidura with Draupada rejoiced at knowing that they apparent joy. O oh Vidura, I am delighted at where the Pandavas, which set at rest all your words. Are the dear Pandavas really anxiety regarding the enmity of Drona? Alive. We have been mourning them as. But he was surprised and disgusted when dead. The news you have now brought is he heard that they would jointly marry Bang to my heart. So the daughter of Drupada. Drupada has become your daughter-in-law. Drupada opposed this and said, How well, well, very good. Unrighteous. How did this idea get into Duryodhana's jealousy and hatred? Your head, this immoral idea that goes redoubled when he found that the, against the traditional usage, Pandavas had somehow escaped from the, Yudhishthira answered, O oh king, kindly wax palace and after spending a year, excuse us. In a time of great peril we incognito had now become even more, vowed that we would share all things in powerful on account of the alliance with common and we cannot break that pledge. The mighty king of Pankala, Duryodhana mother has commanded us so, and his brother Dushasana went to their finally Drupad yielded and the marriage uncle Sakuni and said in sorrow, uncle, was celebrated. We are undone. We have been let down by eighteen. Indra Prastha. Relying on Purukana, our enemies, the WHEN news of the incidents that took Pandavas are cleverer than ourselves, and placed during the Swayamvara at Pankala fortune also seems to favour them. Reached Hastinapura, Vidura was happy, Drisha to Jama and Sikh hands and have. He immediately went to Dhritashtra and become their allies. What can we do? said, O King. Her family has become Karn and Duryodhana went to the blind stronger because the daughter of Drupada Dhritashtra. Duryodhana said, You told has become your daughter-in-law. Or stars Vidura that better days were ahead of us. Are good. Is it good time for us that our natural Dhritashtra thought in his blind. Enemies, the Pandavas, have so waxed in fondness for his son that it was. Strength that they will certainly destroy Duryodhana, who had also gone to take. Us. We could not carry out our plot. Part in the Swayamvara, that had won. Against them and the fact that they know Draupadi. Under this mistaken impression about it is an added danger. It has now he replied. It is indeed, as you say, a come to this. Either we must destroy them good time for us. Go at once and bring here and now or we shall ourselves perish. Draupadi. Let us give Pantali a joyous favour us with your counsel in this matter. Welcome. Dhritashtra replied, Dear son, what you Vidra hasten to correct the mistake? He says is true. We should not, however, let said, the blessed Pandavas are alive and Vidra in our mind. That was why I, it is Arjuna who has won the daughter of spoke to him in that manner. Let me now Drupada. The five Pandavas have married here your suggestions as to what we, her jointly according to the rites enjoined should do, by the Sastras, with their mother. Duryodhana said, I feel so distracted that them, and you think we can deceive them no plan occurs to me. Perhaps, we may. Now, when they have acquired experience take advantage of the fact that these, and are moreover under the protection of Bandavas are not born of one and the Drupada, they have seen through your 
the same mother and create enmity between designs. Stratagems will not do hereafter. The sons of Madri and those of Kunti. We you cannot sow dissensions among them. Can also try to bribe Drupada into joining. You cannot bribe the wise and honourable or sight. That he has given away his. Drupada. He will not give up the. Daughtering marriage to the Pandavas will Pandavas on any account. Drupada also not stand in the way of her making him and can never be turned against them. Ally. There is nothing that cannot be. Therefore, there is only one way left for accomplished by the power of wealth. Us, and that is to attack them before the Karna smiled and said, This is but futile grow stronger and other friends join them. Talk. We should make a surprise attack on the jury at Hannah continued. We should. Pandavas and Drupada before Krishna. Somehow make sure that the Pandavas do joins them with his Yadava army. We. Not come here and demand of us the. Should take the heroic weight of our kingdom that is now in our possession. Difficulty, as befits Chitris. Trickery, we may commission a few Brahmanas to. We'll prove useless. Thus spoke Karna. Spread convenient rumours in Drupada's Drajastra could not make up his mind. City and severally tell the Pandavas that the king, therefore, sent for Bhishma and they would meet with great danger if they drona and consulted them. Were to go to Hastinapura. Then they. Bhishma was very happy when he heard. Pandavas would fear to come here and we that the Pandavas were alive and well as shall be safe from them. Guests of King Drupada of Pankala. Karna replied. This too is idle talk. You his daughter they had married. Cannot frighten them that way. Consulted on the steps to be taken. Duryodhana continued. Can we not Bhishma? Wise with the right knowledge of create discord among the Pandavas by. Right and wrong. Replied. Means of tribe body. Her polyandrous. The proper course will be to welcome marriage is very convenient for us. We them back and give them half the. Shall arouse doubts and jealousies in their kingdom. The citizens of the state also minds through the efforts of experts in the desire such a settlement. This is the only science of erotics. We shall certainly wait to maintain the dignity of our family. Succeed. We can get a beautiful woman to there is much loose talk not creditable to beguile some of the sons of county and you about the fire incident at the wax thus make dry body turn against them. If house. All blame, even all suspicion, will dry paddy begins to suspect any of them. Be set at rest if you invite the Pandavas we can invite him to Hastinapur and use and hand over half kingdom to them. This him so that our plan prospers. Is my advice. Karna laughed this also to scorn. He said, Drona also gave the same counsel and none of your proposals is any good. You suggested sending a proper messenger to cannot conquer the Pandavas by bring about an amicable settlement in stratagem. When they were here and were established peace, like him at your birds with undeveloped. Karna flew into rage at this suggestion. Wings, we found we could not deceive. He was very much devoted to Duryodhana and could not at all bear the vidura went to the city of King Drupada idea of giving a portion of the kingdom to in a speedy vehicle taking along with him the Pandavas. He told Drishtra, many kinds of jewels and other are valuable. I am surprised that Drona, who has presents, received wealth and honours at your hands. Vidura rendered due honour to King, has made such a suggestion. A King. Drupada and requested him on behalf of should examine critically the advice of his registra to send the Pandavas with ministers before accepting or rejecting it. Panchali to Hastinapura. At these words of Karna, Drona, his old Drupada mistrusted Drajastra, but he eyes full of anger, said, O oh, wicked man, merely said, the Pandavas may do as you are advising the king to go on the LIKE underscore.